press that little late there. Hello, everyone. How are we? Very good, thank you. Dan, how are I you? I talking are to you? them at home. Be oh, quiet. Sorry. <laughs> Let them answer. Thank you. So how are you guys? Now you can talk. <laughs> <laughs> well, this podcast is for a good start. I'm fine, thank you, Daniel. How are you? How are you? I'm not too bad, guys. Tired, though. Real, yeah. Really tired. Why are you yeah. tired? Because I've got a job, Jake. <laughs> All right. Any need. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, how are you? You're the only one who an- answered. I'm good. You sure? Boring. Uh, <laughs> so Your face is otherwise. <laughs> Cheeky cunt. Whoa. Oh, no, you, no, you, no, you, no, you're all right. You're all right. Yeah, we're... Huh? Uh-huh. No, to be fair, we're only 40 uh-huh. seconds. He's, he's going to bleep you out. Jake no, 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 no. no Te- it, technically, you're all right for 15 seconds, but I did it at 30 just, just to be safe. Well, I've said a minute now, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm in Is charge. Is that right? Here. Yeah, I Googled it. Wow. <laughs> wow. Anyway, so today's. What are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? Come on. I was literally just about to say. <laughs> Hurry up. You didn't say it quick enough. Hurry up. So people are every, 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 everyone, everyone wants quick, quick short form content thing well they've come to the wrong place with an hour and a half long podcast to start with good point uh so today we have had a bit of a a fuffle so we haven't really figured out that doesn't sound like us be quiet okay we haven't really figured out what we want to do a podcast on so we thought we'd do what most people do when they're starting out and we've googled podcast ideas uh so (laughs) we've got we've got a a really professional podcast out ladies and gentlemen we put thousands of pounds into this equipment (laughs) but not everything else um so we're just going to go through a list of about 80 questions we might not finish them all dependent on time uh and we're just gonna have a laugh pull them apart judge each other do our usual shit so, so basically this is a uh, get to know me podcast getting to know even though we've been around for the past well, how many years? Quite a lot of years. Not long enough. Yeah, since... But you know what? We've never done one of these. So this is a podcast where you're really going to find out the ins and outs of each of us. Yeah, because these questions go really nitty gritty. <laughs> <laughs> Some might, you never know. They don't. So, what's your favourite meal? <laughs> what? Yeah, there we go. First question. What's your favourite meal? Let's hope it's not in this list. So, Mary, what's your favourite meal? Lasagna. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Oh, that's a very good choice. But it's got to be really crispy and really cheesy. Do you like do you like lasagna that's been cooked and then left to go cold and then have it cold? No, because the bechamel, anything bechamel I don't know who that is. <laughs> Bechamel's like the white sauce. <laughs> What's bechamel? Just that one. Bechamel sauce. No, but it's you quite bechamel Well, that, it would suffice I bechamel-y. thought it was bechamel. Bechamel? <laughs> yeah, bechamel. I didn't, I've never heard of it. It's not. Yeah, bechamel. No, but honestly, try, try cold lasagna. It's lovely. Makes it a bit like goopy. Easy. No, less goopy. I prefer goop. Of course you do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yep. Raz, favorite meal? Uh, Nando's chicken pizza. Ooh. No, 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 none of that fucking rainbow slaw. Creamy mash, peri chips. Love the carbs. Halloumi on side, and a and a Fanta. Oh, Fanta. Yeah. Which Fanta? Uh, just the orange one. Trying to yeah. get the orange one, I think. In oh, can you? Nando's, I think so. Yeah, there that's is. literally just what that's I've had good. tonight. Apart from the pit, I, just, ugh, I never, never look. You at get the pit. burger. I, uh, sometimes, yeah, or sometimes you're I just a get the fucking thighs. mentalist. See, it's like a thick wedge of cardboard. No, burger. Hard, no, I had, I had it the other day, and Rob was like, "Oh, why don't you get the burger and get it extra, extra hot?" So I tried, I tried the extra, extra hot. Tasted like ass. I'm a man who can fucking handle handle my spice, but I don't like no, ass. <laughs> yes, I am. I, I complete the spicy it, challenge. Come do it, Red's challenge with us then. Oh, oh books back. <laughs> God, that was awful. It was great. No, it wasn't. We were in Glasgow a few weeks ago, and there's a there's a cool chicken place there called Books, and it does like really it's great, really hot. It is nice, hot yeah. hot chicken. Spicy. And me, Robin, uh, Dan did did this hot one, and everyone was just crying. Yeah, and it, it was so bad, like, as he was just about to say before I rudely interrupted. Uh, we got sat outside. <laughs> that was like, oh, the worst yeah, part. Yeah, yeah. In Glasgow in February, was it? Yeah. Yep, in Glasgow in February, so it's freezing. <laughs> um, Rob books a table outside <laughs> instead of inside. Uh, That's bad enough. It is, yeah. it's terrible. Um, but so what we do is we walk in. Uh, they go, oh, come with us to your seating. And then the walkers... <laughs> walk in to walk straight back outside. <laughs> past all the booths and stuff that had nobody in it. So we could have sat there. Uh, and then they take us through the fire door that only has a handle on one side. Yeah. Uh, and then the sitters on a picnic bench that's on the path 
outside. <laughs> oh it's not in God. the beer garden. It's not got any cover, no lighting <laughs> at the side, no nothing. Just a picnic bench at the side, and the pathway was slanted as well. <laughs> so so like, it's like leaning leaning quite nice other. inside as well. <laughs> like, yeah. But you sat at an angle uh, outside with the road a foot away, uh, <laughs> and it would just it, that if if that weren't bad enough, we thought, oh, the spicy chicken that'll warm you up because lovely and spicy, very hot, mm, tasty. It's not how it works. So it did. It we started eating it, warmed up, felt yeah. great, but then. As you get too warm with Our extreme spice, <laughs> this is why you wouldn't know about it. As you get too warm with the extreme spice, you like you start sweating. And for me, that was like that was game over. So as I start getting a bit moist, that's cooling me down like mad in the freezing cold <laughs> Glasgow air on a f- lovely February afternoon. Your sweat start, starting to turn into icicles. <laughs> it was. So I'm starting to shiver. My body's just like giving up on me. I couldn't eat anymore. I couldn't fucking do it. I was just, I was... Oh, it was awful. The nice, some of the nicest food I've ever had, but the worst experience I've ever had eating. Yeah, just terrible. Anyway, yeah, yeah. what's your, yeah, favorite, what's your meal? favorite meal? So, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a pie guy. I like pies, Ooh. a nice steak Cream. and ale. Big pardon. Cream. I mean, yeah, <laughs> steak and ale pie is probably my favorite. That I really, good. I really like nice, but I like it with a puff pastry, not a short crust pastry. What's the difference? So <laughs> short crust is like. Um, Think of like a pork pie type uh, pastry. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Rather than, it's not flaky. Yeah, and then a puff pastry, yeah, like a flaky puff, one. Yeah, yeah. Unlike you then, which is strange. Yeah, that's strange because you're both puff and flaky. <laughs> 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 I'm allowed to say it. <laughs> I'm not, thank you for it. Sometimes much. it's a really simple <laughs> one to get you in it. <laughs> it's a really that, easy one. <laughs> great. That's probably my, my favourite meal. I'm glad I wish I said something different now. I'm not going to lie. Do you like um, pie mister? Yeah, it's all right. I love yeah. pie Yeah, it's, it's pretty so good. good. The, yeah. the blue, whatever it is, the one with blue cheese. In oh, it. blue oh. cheese is awful. No, you're wrong. Ah. Your opinion is just shit. It <laughs> is horrible, Raz. I agree with you. I didn't expect that from you. I'd rather not have, have it. it. Yeah. Really? I don't no, hate it, but I, I would. It was never my go-to. But I think it goes so well in that pie. I also don't like the treats one as well. There's something about treats that weirds me out. Really? Yeah, it's too like greasy, like, too oily. But like, how can you eat something that smells as bad as blue cheese? I do literal cut a little bit off pop it into whatever I'm eating oh, yeah. so you just try to disguise the, the yeah, flavour of it true. Yeah, so so no fine. because it adds flavour that nothing dis- disguises the flavour of blue cheese true mm. Ugh. remember Ooh. blue waffle that was a meme wasn't it? <laughs> 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 it's, an, it's an old meme for the fans <laughs> I remember Why did we all try Google that. it in school as well, thinking it was yeah. going to come up? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you knew the uh, the old shortcuts on the internet, I don't know what they're called. Proxies, that Proxies. one. Proxies. What are you on about shortcuts? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, it's longer, if anything. But yeah. Um, thank you for all asking my favourite I was just about yeah. to say, but I thought you were... F- Dan, what's your favourite um, I, meal? I know what it is. I know what it is. Go on. It's not what you think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it should, yeah, it's just too easy. <laughs> <laughs> sausage. Bangers and mash. Yeah, I'll be see. Um... I no, I don't actually know. It was just going to be a joke, but I've got, I've got nothing. Any guess? Um, oh, it's a sandwich. Yeah. Oh no, 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 Ooh, no. No, it's a wrap. That's it, my favorite type of food, not okay. my favorite meal. Oh right, okay. Uh, like you like them chicken wraps? <laughs> oh, them. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, you like them chicken wraps? <laughs> <laughs> Is this because last week you saw me eat a chicken wrap? I download. I and you went, "Ooh, that one ice that." Ooh. <laughs> Is oh, it, it was to be fair. Why have sushi? It is indeed. Yeah. Winner, winner. Oh, no, no, it's not. It's four wings and chips. <laughs> Coming <not>. soon. <laughs> I know what Mary's favourite drink is. <laughs> Strawberry or orange? orange. We tried We tried to get you one, but they didn't have it oh, in the car. Which, would you believe Corp doesn't sell them? What a surprise. There was one on my table today for some reason. Mm. Yeah. If you're wondering what we're on about, check out the video. <laughs> Coming soon. <laughs> Right, shall we start these questions then? Yeah, yeah. go on then. Yeah. So, number one. <laughs> <laughs> what time do you go to bed? Oh, wow. Whenever I fucking want, man. All right, you're hard. <laughs> Not currently. That's a man who is sans parents <laughs> right there. <Yeah. laughs> so I think I've I've discovered I do actually have a time that I usually, I, I get tired and have to kind of go to sleep and it's about one o'clock. Yeah, it, it tends to fall within your yeah. circadian rhythm. So, you know, like, what? you do get tired at the same times unless you start 
moving it yourself. It's like, usually just whenever I finish on TikTok and playing 10 10. Oh, so just after first time. 10 10 10. <laughs> don't, 10 10 10. Oh, what's his goals on 10 10? Oh, don't even get me fucking started. Oh, well, what, mine's like. Neither of you can get fucking started oh, in comparison to me. Mine's just under 10,000 now. Oh, is that it? That's cute. Yeah. What's 10 10? It's this Tetris like game, but you've got a. Not a sponsor. <laughs> no, no, no. It'd be great. 10 10 if, if you want to sponsor this podcast. <laughs> um, no, it's like a Tetris game, but you've got to clear them and. It just keeps adding more in, and it sounds shit when that I explain sound it like to you. Tetris, and yeah. when you first play it, it feels quite boring, but it's incredibly addictive. And uh, I absolutely smashed it because I've got a hidden talent of playing <clears throat> mobile games. My my issue is that every time I close my eyes now, I like try to like lay down and relax. I see like the squares in my head, and it's no, really it's just down in front of you. <laughs> I said when he closes his eyes. Thanks. Carry on, square it. <laughs> what have I got, a square it? <laughs> Ask your mum. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, obviously, I can't ask my dad no more. Oh. God, why you got to take it there? She's got a dead dad too. I Come know. on, read God, the God, I'm not fucking... What was it. the question? <laughs> <laughs> What's your bedtime? Uh, I'd say the same, about one. If I if I stay up till two, then I'm too tired and I'm like properly falling asleep. But about 1am, mid, midnight seems about like between midnight and one. Mary? About midnight, but I try and go a bit earlier because <clears throat> I'm tired as soon as I finish work. And then I just overstimulate <clears throat> on like TikTok and then I'm fucked and I'm wide awake. Yeah, you need to shut that shit off 20 minutes yeah. before you go to bed. Let your brain give in. In it. It's hard though being alone with your thoughts without without some kind of... Without Paul Breach. Preaching yeah, to without Paul <laughs> Breach. You're you Paul Breach into choir, are you? <laughs> God, kill off. Uh, going off that one, oh, I haven't said mine. Um, mine's about 10. I get into bed and then I'll watch stuff until probably about half 11 midnight and then i'll try and fall two asleep. you spend two hours laying down no i spend most of my day laying down if i don't <laughs> have to do it <laughs> <laughs> wow uh going off that one then it's not in the list um ad, oh, is it going rogue? rogue that's yeah yeah going going rogue. No. yeah, yeah, yeah freestyling right. that's what i was thinking you're both wrong because you they're what i was thinking uh what time do you wake up mm, eight <sighs> o'clock my usual like i i very rarely wake up any later than eight. And your, bed, your bedtime was two? One. One. All right. So seven hours. Yeah, seven hours. Not sleep. a bad night's yeah, sleep. Yeah, yeah, that's, right. yeah, that's good. Uh, I, so here's the thing. I usually have a meeting at quarter past nine for my work. Yeah, but I know what you're like with work. <laughs> 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 and and I only saw it today because I had to take Rich to work for half eight. And that's the only reason why I turned up. Every other day, I just don't go. And I try to. I used to when I first started my my new my new employment. I was I was very good. I was like, oh, very I like punctual. these people. And then I got too comfortable, and now I just don't because I'm tired. So I usually wake up about like eleven. Fair. So you get nine hours that? sleep. How do you get away with just not turning up every week? <laughs> I do. Mental. I do turn up because it's a, it's about the work in the hours, not the hours in the work. I wish my company were like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's taking me a while to work that out. <clears throat> It's about, it's about, it's about, about work, the work, the work that you do, not, not how not. many hours you do. Ah, Quality yeah. over okay. quantity. That's Mary. good. That's good. Yeah, something you won't know about. <clears throat> I can get my <laughs> I can get my work done in maybe two hours if I just flat out sort it out. Yeah, um, but it, if you want me to go into an office, I can make it last all fucking day for you. I hate that shit. Yeah, like, at the minute, my my work, they're, they're saying, oh, you need to start doing more. Like you, you don't do an awful lot, and I'm like, but I get ten to fifteen new leads per month. And that is not enough to fill four, five, eight hour days every week. Like, no. I'm supposed to speak to them constantly. <laughs> Annoy the fuck I, out. I've got old leads, but I've spoken to them constantly already. So it's like, it's just a fucking nightmare. <clears throat> I can't stand it. Anyway. Anyway. What time do you wake up? Um, it depends. If I've got work, uh, it'll be somewhere. At the minute, my security in rhythm, I'm half seven, eight o'clock. I like that. Uh, <laughs> but you love that term. <laughs> yeah. It's a good term. Security in rhythm. It's all on your head. I can't say rhythm properly because I want to use a V instead of a th. Rhythm. 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 But yeah, it's about, about half seven, eight o'clock usually, unless I've done something, <clears> it'll be about ten. <clears throat> Ten's my late. That's like the latest I'll get up. I don't understand people that can really like, like can sleep late, like into oh, the Oh, it's into fucking the easy. It's excellent. Oh, I just don't know how people it's do great. it. Oh, I'll t- I tell a lie. Um, what I sometimes do is I do turn up to that meeting and after, after it, I just go back to bed. That's great. I literally I just, I, t- I turn up, I don't, I don't put, put my camera on because no one wants to see this fucking mug. Am I right? <laughs> um, and I'll just go back to bed and I have a sl- I have a sleep for like two more hours. And then, hey, check my messages. Are you not <laughs> worried they'll, they'll catch you and sack you? 
Uh, yeah, they nope. run into your bedroom. They're like, "Oi, we found you! <laughs> <laughs> You're asleep." Well, no, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send them this podcast. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the least of their worries. Trust me, G. I am so the least of their worries. Mary, what time do you wake up? Uh, so I start work at nine, and I get up about five to wow. make a call. Five to nine. Yeah. How do you wake up at nine and get up at five to? No. No, I start work at nine. And I get up at five. To oh, I heard you wrong. Because I work from home every day, so same. Yeah, it's, it's so good, good, but shit. Oh, it's, there's nothing shit about it for me. There is if you got my boss. I, I have a good boss, to be fair. I know, I know your boss is done. <laughs> no, boss boss. <laughs> Not my momager. Next question. Let's my go. proper boss. Um, number two, who is your celebrity crush? Oh my God. <laughs> my, mine's, mine differs because it's got eras. I'll fancy him yeah. for, like mad for one point. Yeah. Like for, for years as a, as a young lad, the entire cast of Buffy the Vampire Slayer was my crush. Ooh. Every everyone in that is sexy. I can, apart under, from I can the understand extras. it in, in in some way. Is that because they're all sexy? <laughs> yeah, they I mean, are. I mean, some of them are. Yeah. Yeah. Which ones? Which ones are you thinking? Buffy, obviously. The one that's also in um, um, American Pie. Angel. Yeah. Um. Yep, that's that's all I can remember. Great, so you've gone with a man and a woman. Uh, Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? No. He said I, yeah to Angel. I, I, I knew it, I knew it. I don't know I who that is. Oh, no. The ginger I, one. I knew it. Oh, Spike. I knew it all along. No, he's the blonde one. I know that. He was quite fit. No, he's not my type. <laughs> Fair enough. Raz, celebrity crush? It's, a, it's, it's weird. I don't think I've ever had one. Really? You yeah. Not even, not even Hayley Williams? No, no, because like, I don't not, know. Not it, back in day when you did that video about a leaking nudes. <laughs> no, I was, just, I was just reporting on it. What are you on about? Fair. Um, no, I just, I never really had one. No? Oh, yeah. That's weird. I was being grounded. I don't think that's what grounded means. <laughs> <laughs> Is there seriously like no cele- celebrity that, you know, if they came up to you and were like, Raz, I love you, <laughs> marry me. There's no one that you go like, yeah, go on. What is it, young blood? <laughs> How much money do they have? And is there an immediate settlement after the divorce? I mean, <clears> it's wh- whoever it's whoever it is. Like, what about Megan Fox? <sighs> oh, fuck Megan Fox. Yeah. Well, I don't yeah, understand not, I'm that whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah. No, I thought that Rob and Raz were pretty into it. Rob is not, but not, I don't see not, it. Not me. I only know of Megan Fox because uh, Philly D used to do like a Megan Fox watch. Really? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, it's, it's always, yeah, it, it, nobody. It, it, see, this is like ten years ago now. And this is a thing that like Ronnie really fucking Radke is on about. Like you can't fucking cancel him for doing <clears> shit ten years ago like this. Like it was a different culture. But like he used to have a segment on his on his show that was like uh, Megan Fox watch, and it'd be like the latest photos of him or whatever. Because it's like a little, <laughs> it's it? a, it's a little ma- like like a little crush. It's like like the whole like not, t- TMZ not, days, wasn't it? Yeah, it's it's nothing like. I guess it it could have been weird, but it but it wasn't. It definitely didn't seem it at the time. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I was no, I was never into her. Weird, no. weird, yeah. I, I've never seen it, even in Transformers when she was <clears throat> arguably at her sexiest. I just no, oh, to and be, also she to, be, to be fair, I see it in in like the Transformers era because mm. when she, she were younger before the surgery, <laughs> that isn't that? <laughs> when she was fixing that bike, I'm just there like, hey, did that? That was I was just about to talk about that bike. Did what? you know she never rode that bike? She sat on it and someone pushed it, and they just green screened them out. Yeah, yeah. Because she, right. she can't, she can't ride a motorbike. Well, I can. I can yeah. fucking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we, we know how to do that. Yeah, you barely can. You dropped the motorbike. Uh, excuse me. Still passed it or not? It's not, it's not something you pass or fail. It's just he goes. Yep, you've done it. Ima- yeah. Imagine that. No, like you're you doing your driving test, and all of a sudden your car's on its side. <laughs> you're still passed. <laughs> right. Okay. I think I need to clear this up a little bit. Emergency stop. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. stopped. Yeah. So we we had to do this thing. Bridie's told this story, but we had we were doing these emergency stops and turning round like a, st- a road basically, and it was all a bit confusing and whether what, what he wanted me to do, and I didn't realise he wanted me to come back, so I was like, uh, uh, and <laughs> like I, ju- I just lost <laughs> like my balance what? ever so. Sl- <laughs> I just lost my balance ever so slightly. The it, the bike never fell on the floor or anything like that. I just lost my balance, so it looked like I was falling. And to the untrained eye, <laughs> it may have looked <laughs> like I was from falling. From someone 300 yards away, it probably did look like I like dropped it and whatever, but yeah. I didn't. The bike wasn't a 
it was at an acute angle. <laughs> it was at a <laughs> forty-five wasn't the degree floor. angle, but it wasn't but you know falling. What? I did it, and it's all good. Yeah. When you book in your theory, <clears throat> uh, hey, you can pass your so bike you can, to test. Yeah, about so, doing so, a theory. so now legally we can like drive like mopeds or whatever. I want a uh, uh, bike up to one two five on the road with L plates and without a passenger. So I could do that now if I wanted to. Handy. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's quite handy. I good, thought, good I thought for nipping about. about. Yeah, exactly. If you've got a bike. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah which neither of you do. <laughs> yeah, but if but you did. I, yeah. Oh, touche. Uh, any oh. any major European city, though, I will be on mm-hmm. it. Yeah, for me too. Yeah, they're brilliant. Yeah, Watch they out. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in Germany, you're fucked. <laughs> Hell's Angels coming. <laughs> did, did it in Paris the other month. It was sick. So when, illegal. When did you go to Paris? Uh, is it? January off or February, something like that. Oh, Jake, did you get an invite? I didn't get an invite. It was me and Rich. Oh, <laughs> would you have wanted to go? Mary, Mary, did you get an invite to Paris? <laughs> That'd have been yeah. weird. <laughs> let, let, let me tell you, right? Let me tell you, I'm, I so don't ever want to go back to Paris now. Oh, I'm mate, I was sick of I've, the last I've done it we so many times now. So now everyone that I know has been to Paris, they've done all this stuff, and I can now never go to Paris ever again. I'd like to go the minute what? to watch it burn. You're going to go back, you know? Yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I hate Paris. It stinks. I don't yeah, see why it's, it's romantic. Yeah. It's, it's, I think it probably used to be romantic, but then obviously as the population's grown everywhere of the world, tourism grows, more people in there because it, ooh, it's love yeah, Paris. It's, and it's just become ransacked with people and it's just... You know, there's a thing downfall. called Paris syndrome. Um, and it's it's like a psychological effect of like some... you Like the idea of it being, being this, that and the other. And then when you get there, it's actually shit. Like yeah. Paris syndrome is the actual term, and that's what yeah, that's what Paris is. Happen, it's happened to us with In and Out. <laughs> yeah, 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 In yeah, and Out yeah. up in his head so much because it was great the year before. Went again. No, nah, shit. Yeah, shit, shit, mm. absolute shit. All. Mary, have you answered a celebrity crush? Um, so I'm kind of like you. Like it, it depends on the year, mm. but right now, um, depends on your circadian rhythm and all that. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know. Um, right now, it's I've got back into. Nico, I hate saying his last name. Nico Bellic. Bellic. Mira- <laughs> hey, hey, Mary, you, you, want, you want to go bowling? Nico Bellic. Nico Bashmilly. Who the fuck's that? GTA. You want to go bowling, Mary? <laughs> Cousin. Co- Absolutely not. I'll, t- I'll tell you afterwards why that's funny. Nico Mira- Miralego is the guy from My Mad Fat Diary, if you've ever seen that. He's fucking oh. gorgeous. And the guy from Fleabag, the priest. I'm obsessed with priests Not now. Like <laughs> <laughs> Only good looking ones, but they're few and far between, unfortunately. And they all don't want to shag me. I bet you Well, no, because the priests are... Yeah. Exactly. You're too old. And they're probably quite smart. <laughs> <laughs> I, I bet you watch some terrible TV. Yeah. I know you watch Love Island, <laughs> so what immediately. No, no, nah, nah, I used to watch Love Island. I'm on to The Bachelor now. It's fucking well good. The drama. <sighs> wow. Wrong audience. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Although I've started Orange is the New Black, and it's amazing. I'm surprised you never Jake isn't in huh? like The Bachelor and stuff. Absolutely. I don't watch any TV. No, but if you really actually don't. watched it, like... No, he just watches TikTok. It's great. <laughs> yeah. No, I do watch can, TV. I watch it. TikTok. I watch it. Can you condense it down into 30 what, seconds or less? What is it oh, that I God. watch? Um, can't pay we take away. Can't pay we take away. <laughs> I just away. watched that on We're TikTok. We're on a train home from TikTok. Can't from pay TikTok. we oh. take away. Can't pay we take away. <laughs> But you know what you know what it means anyway. What is it called? Can't, can't pay, on, we take it away. We we'll Which, take it away. Same <laughs> Not can't pay, we take away. That sounds like a, <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a like a Chinese. Four wings. Thing, like. <laughs> it's a charity for hungry people. <laughs> uh. But no, we're on a train back from Sheffield, and we caught him watching like part seventeen of two hundred eighty-eight. <laughs> You know what? So it's, shit. Some of them are great, man. I, I really do like. Yeah, them. but why don't you just watch the entire episode? <laughs> yeah. Because um, because the, the the content's there where I am. I yeah, don't want to then have to go onto like BBC it? iPlay or something yeah. like that. But then you're getting it part sixteen, part twenty one, part five, part ninety two. Like they're all over the shop. <laughs> yeah, but are you keeping up with it's it? It's more engaging that way. I watch Judge Judy that way. Yeah, yeah, she's hot Judy on TikTok well. right now. Yeah, she's hot anyway. Yeah. God, I fucking <laughs> hate Marshall TikTok so much. <laughs> it's, it's shit, isn't it? Like, come, come listen to a la- hour-long podcast where we're talking about TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> you want you don't like short-form content? Well, we're going to talk about it in a long form for you. Hey. 
It's proper poisonous, is TikTok. It is. It's like great, though. It's killed my, a lot of brain cells for me. Yeah, it's... <laughs> and you no, you didn't very, know, far, <laughs> very few, anyway. What? So <laughs> shut up. Uh, Jake, have you answered what your celebrity crush is? Um, <laughs> not really, no. Uh, um, so, I, I, again, I go through phases as well. I'm, oh, I'm Seems at, to be all the buy ones who go through phases, doesn't it? Excuse me. <laughs> I think I'm going to set myself up for some disses here, but... Yep. You know, there's some people that you always have a bit of a, you know, that you think's all right. You know, Hayley Williams, she's always been great. Suzanne Boyle. Taylor Swift, she's always been great. <laughs> You're right, you are setting yourself up. What's the next question? I can't wait to see Taylor on Thursday. Um, What's the next question? Hang on, I'm drinking. Um, so, number three. How would you rate your childhood on a scale of one <clears throat> to ten? Well, my dad died when I was ten. So, <laughs> up until that point, or <laughs> okay. So, scale, please, one to ten. Well, your entire childhood. Well, I was also disabled and in a wheelchair when I was four. <laughs> so, <laughs> that sounds like a joke, but it's no, not. I remind them for every chance I get. Um, I had I had a pretty good childhood, to be fair. Could certainly been worse. Six. Oh, that's so that bad because you your your dad died. You were disabled in a wheelchair, and you said six, and I was going to say mine was a five. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> he's got both parents. Yeah, yeah, divorced and that, but still very All of a well sudden, alive. Is a ten. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that is a big number actually for those two huge. Yeah, things. it was it was fine though. Like the the being in a wheelchair was kind of funny, and because I was so young, I don't really remember it. Yeah. And the dad dying bit. Yeah, it was bad. But, you, again, but I did also go to the cinema that day. So. <laughs> but again, you you were quite young as well, weren't you? Yeah, I was quite young. So I kind of, I kind of had plenty of time to Hits deal with it. You, that even. And you know what? It wasn't that bad, you know? Played a lot of sports still. What, in your wheelchair? No. Wheelchair, when baseball, I, in, basketball? Out when I was out mm. with the wheelchair. Oh, yeah, basketball, golf, football. Mm. Golf? Yeah. It's not a fucking sport. Of course it is. It's hitting a stick. Hitting a ball with a stick. <laughs> it's It's... It's just about a sport. It's, a good sport. it's about as sp- sporting, and I love the game. I love it more than anyone. It's about as sporting as darts. Oh, darts is a great sport. No, it, da- it's da- it's darts, darts is great. Darts, darts is a game. Darts is like um, like snooker and pool. It's a game. Mm-hmm. Pub it's game. not a sport. Pub sport. I reckon EA Sports have made it's got a, a league. Game. What? It's got a league. It's got a league. Surely it's a sport. Yeah, yeah but, but so, so, is ch- so is chess. Yeah, and that's a sport. Uh, that's not it's a sport mm-hmm. around a game. I do you know what? Uh, yeah, you might have. Uh, yeah, you might have a good mm. point there. Dan, how was your childhood? Um, mine was actually pretty good. You know, yeah. um, no parents died. One of them. Won- <laughs> <laughs> first things first. <laughs> both alive. Uh, both legs worked throughout my entire childhood. My legs were fine. It's my hip. Ah, oh, really? Yeah. Didn't ask. Um, <laughs> so can't argue on those points. Uh, my mum, incredibly loving, uh, done everything she could for me, like, and I'm not saying there was stuff that I wish she'd have done. Like, she did literally everything within her power to make me have a better life. Um, there's been shit happened to me, but that's not my childhood, so don't, don't worry about that. Uh, yeah, it was really fucking good, to be fair. It was, I'd say, a solid eight. The only reason it's not a nine is because my dad were never fucking there. Like, I've got one, but we're never fucking there. So... Too busy making pies. Drop it off. He makes a good pie. So one of them was great and one of them wasn't there. So, so te- five? five? I said eight. Cause, cause she, she, she made up for a lot then. Yeah, she, she did. So yeah. She, she really did. My mum, like, I, I love her to bits. Like, I am such a mama's boy. And she, like, even to it's this all, day, she does sense. everything <laughs> she can for me. Like, she's she's such a lovely person. I love her to bits. Mary? Um. Well... My dad had the courtesy of waiting until I was 20 to die. <laughs> oh, so <laughs> it were all right. Yeah. I'm amazed you didn't drive him to it earlier. What was it like growing up with Rob? <laughs> oh, well, there's actually a podcast on that. Uh, Jake, um, I live with Rob, I can tell you. It, it would have been good. Ta- honestly, it'd be a bit of torture. <clears throat> yeah, I'd say. Really, really nasty. So, would you say that heavily impacted your childhood? It did quite a lot, yeah. which is probably why I wouldn't. Any kind of issue I had with my parents were because of him. Mm. So, he, he's probably the worst yeah. part of it. You're quite biased, though. I would biased because I live. <laughs> You're so biased about your own childhood. <laughs> no, like, come on, nah, trust you. He was, he was mean. Mm, yeah, like beyond beyond the big brother. I've I've heard a few of the things. Like, obviously, I won't have heard the extremes, but bit of a dick. <laughs> just a bit, just a bit. Yeah, but any, any older brother brother is. 
Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. I like to think I'm not. I just bully him into well, doing the housework. Were uh, all of yeah. you, so obviously Mary, you're, you were the youngest. Yeah. Dan, were you the oldest? Uh, no, I in my childhood, I yeah. was the youngest, but now I'm older. I've got two younger brothers and there's a, there's a big age gap. So there's 14 years between me and my younger brother and then another three years between him and the other one. Right. I think that makes sense. Wait, so 17 years between one's you and One's 17, one's 14. Okay. Kind of makes sense. So there's 16 years between It's 14 and 17 years. Because there were... <laughs> <laughs> was, what? You're 30. One. You're 31. You've got a 14-year-old brother. Yeah. So there's 17 years between years. Go ahead. Years, is it? Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's yeah. But, yeah. But, but between me and <laughs> be, between me and the 17-year-old, there's 14 years. So there's 14 and 17. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Which is what I said. No, nah, you said, look, forget that. Rewind. <laughs> Fucking stoners. Raz, were you, what was the question? Were, were you the oldest or youngest? I you? was the youngest. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Cool. My childhood was, was pretty acceptable. Yeah. By the way. Yeah. Um, went on a few holidays. So, because my parents were split up, mm. twice the Christmas presents. <sighs> nice. Twice the holidays. <clears throat> and we went, both families went on holiday abroad. So, I never want, ever want to go back to Spain again. <laughs> <laughs> I Not was, better though. Yeah, I was sick of it by eight. Um, also got the PSP Gigapack, so it's not all bad, is it? Wow, what a childhood, eh? Yeah. <laughs> got a PSP. Well, Rob got the value pack, so... <laughs> I remember I bought my... Your poor parents. parents. Poor. <laughs> 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 but yeah, pretty all right. I'd, I'd say... I'd say, yeah, six or seven out of ten. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Mm, good. Jake, right. you've got younger... No, I'm the youngest. Oh, have you got an older person? I've got a brother and a sister. How old your Didn't. sister? My so my sister's thirty. Everyone's eyes lit up. <laughs> thirty, like four, I think. What's she looking at? Is she fit? No. <laughs> <laughs> and then she I, looks like you. Then I've got a, again, he's biased. Remember. Yeah. And then I've got a brother that's like 30, 31. Is he, is he fit? Nope. He actually listens to the podcast. You've got a brother. Yeah. He kept that quiet, didn't he? What? You, what, what? Sorry, I didn't I bring know, him up. I've, I've heard about your sister on multiple occasions, but not your Why? brother. Why? Yeah. Because you bring her up. No, where do I ever bring her up? When you're talking about your sister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got, I've got, got an older brother and sister. Wow. Yeah. Thanks. Wow, you I'll, learned something I'll look, new. I like running on you. Yeah, quite well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, many, many, many years. What has it been? Seven now? Seven years? 2016? Mm-hmm. Summer of? Summer of. But yeah. Can got... never trust anyone, can you? Hey, no. There's always some snake hiding something. Excuse me. Next right. question? Yep. I was just about to do that. Stop taking over. It's my podcast, Ryan. I just wanted to interrupt Jake. Is that all right? All right. Uh, What's the next question? Uh, I don't know whether to leave this in because it could be used against us on our online banking details. What's your middle name? Oh, God. Oh, yours is great. I thought you started wanting to be known by yeah, yours. Yeah, but not on this a big platform. I went to soft no, no, launch no, no. it. Mary, Mary. <laughs> we'll just soft launch it here. This isn't a big platform. This is the podcast. <laughs> Did you see the, the viewership <laughs> on the last one with caskets? <laughs> Sub 2K. <laughs> Which is abysmal because caskets are phenomenal. Like, I'm if you've amazed. not seen that podcast, podcast go check go it out. Go watch it just for me, please. Get my numbers up. So it makes it look like I do a good job here. So they let me keep doing it. <laughs> anyway, trying to carry get on. selfish, you know. <laughs> All right. My full name is Mary Maud Kellers. <laughs> oh, we should have we done it so we guessed. Or you guess. Y'all already we, know. Yeah, guess. Sure we all know. Like fucking. <laughs> what? Yeah. J- Jonathan. No. Over <laughs> 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 wave wave. wave. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah, been... Do I start with the A's? And like that? Like, <laughs> we're, I hate people. No, because you, know, you can look at. I can look at Dan and go, right. He looks like a bender. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're not allowed to say that. You've never sucked a cock. <laughs> no, Ben. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> yeah, that's what he, that's what he said. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, some, like sometimes it's a really simple one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, carry on, what were you saying? Uh, do you know what? It doesn't matter now. <laughs> Dan, what's Fair your middle name? Um, my name is my older brother's name, so it's Adam. Adam, nice. So technically, Bender, because he's gay. <laughs> what? Adam's gay. Oh, yeah, true. That's so, strange, though, that you've got, that your parents gave t- two people Adam. Yeah, my dad was... So my my granddad was Terence, then my dad was Sean Terence. Terence. I love that name. Then that's cool. Adam was hey, Adam hey. Sean. I'm Daniel Adam. <laughs> <laughs> and then my younger brother's Rowan is Rowan George Daniel. 
and then Theo, they just gave up on it. Oh, no, but that's a nice little uh, idea. It's, yeah, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> what are these two fucking chortling about? I think it's about the Terrence and Philip thing. Is that it? He just blurted out Terrence. <laughs> <laughs> are, you are you quite finished? Good. Keep it down. So we'll move on to the next question. I think I saw the same, but my mind's gone blank. <laughs> we'll move on. Uh, so, what about my middle name? What are your favourite values? <laughs> what, 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 fucking, what is Val's middle you, name? And, quickly. I thought you had answered. My, mine's Richard. Is it? Dick. 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 <laughs> <laughs> next question. <laughs> no, let's just circle back around. Uh, Dick is your middle name. No, my name is Richard. Oh, oh God, his, his middle name is literally... Dick is my middle name. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I never came on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. Right, Someone we'll... talk about sucking cock while well, Dick is my middle name. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God. <laughs> oh God. You know, I can see why you've never told us that. <laughs> yeah. uh, that is very um, I really like that. My middle name's Adam. Is, is it? One? Yeah. Uh, Two Adams. Where's it where oh. does that come from? Uh, is it, did they just randomly think, oh Adam sounds nice? So I'd, I'd, so I I don't know if this this is true, but my parents once once told me it was roughly connected to Brian Adams. <laughs> so shut the bee off. You got Ryan, shut the yourself, you got Adam. Oh, yeah. I quite like that. That's quite good, actually, that cool. if you yeah, like yeah. Brian Adams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's all right. Yeah. Well, your parents like know, Brian Adams. And also Ryan, Little King, that's what it means. Adam, the first man. Kind of get what they were going for. There's a lot of poetry in there. Well, I think the first man's short and wears a crown. That, that they're different. They definitely didn't think of that. <laughs> no, not sorry, in the slightest. Sorry, Mum, Dad. How did, you, how did your two middle names come about? It's my granddad. Oh, your granddad's a dick. Uh, Mary? <laughs> <laughs> He's dead as well. <laughs> Stop showing off. <laughs> Just because um, I've got both alive parents. So, so my first name is my grandma. And my middle name is my granny. So really keeping it vintage. Wow. Yeah. Very mod. Wow. Good. Right, moving on. Uh, what are your so favourite? Are you going to Urban Outfitters tomorrow then and picking up some, uh, <laughs> some clubber? Knitted vest. I don't get that. It's just, uh, just a diss. Oh, like, fair, yeah. Yeah. A really mm. shit diss. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what are your favourite values in Friends? Oh, God. That's a bad one. We will start with the person who looks like the thing in the least. So, Mary. Um, Probably someone that you can take the piss out of. Like, there's no, there's no line. There's no boundary that you have to worry about crossing. Because then I can't be a friend because it's just funny to, like, diss yeah. Each other, and if you don't have that level of friendship, then you're not good enough friends. Fair enough. That's good. Good point, Ralph. Nope. Still thinking, Jake. Yep. <laughs> um. Probably trust. I think you know. <laughs> nah, but <laughs> fucking. Uh, I mean, there's no like. Pu no pun intended. That's rich coming from you. Hey. Excuse me. That's dick coming from you. No, like, you know, we can all trust each other. We can all, like, when the time comes, we all know we could all confine in each other. Yeah, that is you good. Know, and yeah. if they, we do it, any of us do need to say something, we can all say something, and it's all... I mean, there are some things that get leaked. Yeah, oh, yeah. Are, absolutely. Don't yeah. tell MB but, anything. Yeah, do not tell MB no, anything. at the same time, like, I, I, I trust that even what I'm saying, <laughs> if it, it does get passed on, it's fine. Yeah, uh, I agree with that. Um, for me, it's similar to Mary's, like, the ability to just take the piss, have a laugh at each other's expense and just know that it, there's no real meaning behind it. Yeah. There's no hateful anything. It's just like you just want that shock factor to be, for your mate to be like, oh. Yeah. yeah. And it's like this. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's like the, like the stand-up comedian type of thing where like you'll push the line just a bit too far yeah. to see whether you can get away with, away with it. And of course you can when it's between friends. And it's like you'll get that little bit of shock value that's like, I just said that, but it's actually okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because exactly. I'll give it him back like just as hard. And then you're just pissing <laughs> yourself laughing. Yeah. Because that, <sighs> it, for me, being able to do that with someone means you trust them. It means yeah. you, you're close to them. You can tell them anything and they're not really going to judge you because they'll judge you for every fucking thing else. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. What's yours, Russ? Come on. Um, 
the foundations of, of my friends was built on like the being down for anything. Yeah. So like the the immediate like, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, yeah like, like just just a text in the chat. Yeah. Anybody yeah. up for doing something? Yep. Yeah, absolutely. What are you do what are you doing? Fuck all. Right, we're chilling. Of yep. course we literally every fucking night, yeah, we are. Um not so much these days, but but, but we, it's it understandable. Used to be, but it used but it's to. but it's like but even even now, so it's like this event, yep. Yeah, yeah. It's it's not like a oh what's what's going what's going on. It's like yep, okay, that's happening. There is sometimes where like work and stuff gets in the way. And it gets it gets harder. Like as you yeah, age, the older you get, the the yeah. harder it definitely gets. Which is why you should keep your friends from youth because then you don't have to make new ones. True. Um, yeah. Unless you jerk. So next question, <laughs> your excuse. What is your funniest memory from high school? We've done a fucking entire oh, podcast on this. Skip yeah, skip, skip that. that. If you want to watch, go watch. It's fucking great. Good podcast. Uh, Paddy Considine said it's great. He messaged me personally. Saying it's <laughs> yeah, really good. Oh, oh sick. He... God, what the fuck's he heard? <laughs> 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 Jesus. Uh, so, number eight, a very vain question. What is your best trait? <clears throat> Starting with you, Dan. Great. So, for me, um, it's... I don't know. Oh, it's a good question, this. Yeah, I don't like it. It's hard putting myself on the is. spot. I'm not good at talking about myself. What is... What is should we say what, what the we, best trait of what each we other think, is? Yeah, yeah, that's better. Good idea. That's Everyone go yeah. around the, the circle. Every, the person on your right. So, Jake, I'll take you. Um, no, thanks. <laughs> fine, you can take me. No, thanks. <laughs> well, you can't have it both ways. It's my job. Um, so, for you, it's how lovely and friendly you are. You're so welcoming to everyone. <laughs> And I mean, just why, why are you laughing, no, bitch? Sorry, no. Why are you laughing? No, I agree. Because anyone can come up to you, and whether you know them or not, you are just a lovely person too. Thanks. You're a, you're a friend to them essentially, without actually knowing them, which I think is great. Thank you. All right, you can do Raz now. So I was, wait, I was waiting for a disc to come in, but thank no, you. No, that's later on. Okay, thanks. <laughs> um, best thing about Raz is he's he's very unobjectively like ugly. <laughs> Don't be harsh, man. Come on, man. Just hey, give it's, it, give it's not it, mine. Give it 10 he's, minutes. He's, saying generous is the wrong word, but it's like... <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean that. That sounded like a diss. It wasn't... What do you no, mean by give it 10 minutes? <laughs> sorry, what? just interrupting that. What do you mean by give it 10 minutes? Well, being nice to each other for, ten, for like five minutes, let's say. No, that's boring. True. No. Moving well, like, on. If you ever, again, the thing with Raz is if you ever need something, like you ever need driving somewhere, or you ever need like I something. Have a dri- uh, ever need driving somewhere, Raz has got a driving license. Yeah. <laughs> That's the best thing Just text him and he might I, get I, back I, to I, you I, next week. I'm, 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 I'm your CBT. Come on, man. You're true. Um, but you know, you can always rely on Raz. Yeah. You know, for anything, you can always rely on him for to, to, to help you out. Not the little, or, just, I, or just in general. I've, I've been told not the little things. If the little things. Like I, emailing I, I, festivals. Yeah, I can't, yeah. Like, so, so, so here's the thing: like little things like that can always wait. Big things, yeah, okay, I'll sort, I'll sort out. Yeah. Any of the little things, yeah, okay, I'll sort them out. Eventually. Well, the thing is, you you do sort it out. Yeah, I I'm do. Like, just in my own fucking time, yeah. you know. There's, there's yeah. a lot going on up here. Yeah, is it sleeping? <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Fucking it's not evident we found out. Yeah. Well, yeah, you, you, I, we, you, I can always rely on you. Thank you, Raz. To Mary. Mary, <laughs> she's. <laughs> you ever seen a woman? That, <laughs> Ma- Mary is piss funny. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Fred. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are funny. Oh. But in a, but in a way that <clears throat> that um, <laughs> no, 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 Thanks, Raz. So, ha- in what way is she funny? Like, you're gonna it's, have to it's, go it's, into this a bit in a bit more detail. It's it's, it's hard. It's really hard to put to put a finger on. But it's just it. <laughs> shut up! Come on, <laughs> you're the one who said it. How am I the one for laughing? How am Somebody I? Somebody ba- sniggered. Um, it's it's a particular it's a pati- particular kind of humor that we being like it's it's almost like we're the, we're the boys club, and then and then there's I don't want to like segregate and say like oh, and then there's Mary. Because she's part of that, but like it's a diff- it's a different kind of humor, um, and it's been nice the past. Mm. What, like, obviously you've been you've been in this for ages, but like more so these days. Yeah, like um, the past year or two. Yeah, yeah since yeah. I've been single, I've had more time to <laughs> do stuff. <laughs> it's funny how that Can't works. Wait for, it Can't <laughs> wait for it to get a boyfriend and fuck nah, off again. I'm never getting a boyfriend again. She says, "Oh, girlfriend, come on." 
I, yeah. True. Anyway. Yeah. Thanks for that. That's really nice. Mm. Well, I mean, it's supposed to be. <laughs> I know, but I'm just not. We know, we're never really nice to each other, are we, all of us? So. No. It's uncomfortable, isn't it? It is. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I promise we'll be mean to each other soon. Anyway, Mary. Good luck. So, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, I. The thing I love most about Dan is when you find something really funny and you laugh like when you laugh like from your core it <laughs> brightens the room like do you not agree dan's laugh is just so infectious yeah, when, when there's like no noise and it's just like red face yeah and it's just like <laughs> it's just red ears. it makes everyone else laugh and you've just got a really good sense of humor i like that i get a little extra on the end there as well i've got a good laugh and a good sense of humor <laughs> Uh, right. <laughs> next. Thank you See for all guys, being we can all be nice to each other. Next, yeah. next question. My outburst. Next uh, question. What is your favourite restaurant boss? What? What? Well, he's, he's suddenly taken over the thing, hasn't he? Boss them. Saying next question. I told you this is my podcast, Raz. You don't back <laughs> down, I'm kicking you out. <laughs> What's your, I, I don't understand this. Don't worry, you little Like Colonel brain. Sanders. Um, <laughs> what is your favourite restaurant? Oh, what? I think I think he was I referring to Raz's boss. Oh. I, I thought I, not I, not I, the fucking CEO thought, of the I thought, restaurant. I thought you were like I, th I thought you meant like yeah, the CEO. No, <laughs> just your favorite restaurant. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, <clears throat> restaurant or fast food? Easy says restaurant. Easy. Right, should, we, should we do this real quick? Should, should, uh, we, shall, how, shall we all say it at once? How, how many of us are going to say Nando's? I'm going to say Nando's. Yeah, no. I am. Okay, that's well, you. Well, too, you you heard about my meal lately, so what bore you with that? Yeah. Mine's also Nando's. Mary. Right now, Subway is my go-to. Oh, oh that is good. that's so Is it odd. a restaurant? Mm, yeah. mm, <laughs> no, but it, all right, all right, all right. Restaurant, if I'm going for a sit-down meal, the issue with Prime Nando, Minister. The issue with Nando's oh. is I only ever have one drunk with you. <laughs> you only have one drunk? No, Subway, Subway. Yeah, yeah. Subway is like We always get it when we're drunk. Yeah. yeah. And I never, like, make the most of it. S Subway, quite recently, though, has become, like, a favourite of mine to get when drunk. Yes. Yeah. So it does a really good job of, like, Sucks absorbing it all, yeah. yeah well, the one on... Um, all in. in. So That's open to like five now on a Friday. Yeah, Saturday, incredible Friday. innovation. Yeah, proper good. Very good. Uh, my favourite is Bundo Bust, just Ooh, for the yeah. Vada Pav. Yeah. Because it is banging. If anybody out there doesn't know what Bundo Bust is, it's a little Indian street food restaurant. Um, and they do something called a Vada Pav, which is a deep fried mashed potato burger with some green ting and a chilli. And it's just amazing. It's, it's Carb incredible. City, though, it, anyway. is, it's it is. It's Carb City. Cows, but it I is, was like it's misold that though. Like I, I was told it was like incredible, like you're saying. But then I tried it and I didn't really. I think I was like really oversold yeah, it. it up. Yeah. yeah, it's it's a lot better than it sounds. But it is just a mashed potato, fried mashed potato. Oh yeah, it's but, very simple and um, plain. And like, I do have to be in the right mood for Bundo. Mm. But I, I do. I do. It is a. When I'm when I'm in the mood, it's, it's great. It's expensive yeah. as well, man. It's it quite. Is, it's not yeah. the cheapest. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's not. I was also sold like a, a something like a, a dal there as well. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. And I tried that and I was like, this is the blandest thing I've ever had in my life. Yeah, certain things aren't that good. Just to make a note that it is all vegetarian and vegan. It's definitely all vegetarian. Some's vegan. It's, uh, I it's, think it's yeah. definitely all vegetarian, but yeah. some yeah. is vegan as well. The okra fries are really nice. Yeah, they're good. Yeah. I like the onion barges as well. They come with the onion really barges nice are good. sauce. Mm. Yeah. It's great as Bundo. Go try it. We're not sponsored. Bundo, if you want to sponsor us. Uh, has anyone not answered? Um, you? I've got. Um, have I? I've just said Bundo. <laughs> oh yeah, you did. <laughs> I thought it was Mary. Sorry, no, I can't keep up. Mary, have you answered? Yeah, Subway. So you did. Yeah, I you guess we've all answered. Yeah. Nando's and Nando's. Uh, just a memory like a sieve. This is why you shouldn't smoke weed. <laughs> um, what? Where are we? What are we on? What know. is an interesting fact about you? Worst question is, ever. It's horrible, isn't it? It's like but being we're an icebreaker. Ask it. uh, it's like on a first I don't break. know if you know, but I've been to Coachella. Me too. Mm. That's a great fact, to be fair. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, of course it is. I think, for me, an interesting fact about me is I am part of a YouTube channel that owes, uh, has over 100,000 subs. <laughs> so, you know, that's quite interesting. And then I've got a podcast that's got severely <laughs> less. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's, it's weird. It's weird. I don't see you. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, inter something interesting about yourself is so hard. Cause yeah, it's like, isn't it? You ever do that thing like as a team building exercise, like two truths and a lie? No. It's, it, oh, it's yeah. the most cringe thing ever. Like a team building exercise in like a group of like new recruits at a job mainly, it usually is. And it's like, okay, you got to tell two truths and a lie. Mm -hmm. And you got to like say them and like the team has to like guess which one's a lie. Mm. See, and out. it's always like a little humble brag. It's always yeah. like, yeah, oh, in it. It's always like, oh, you did that. Oh, like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did spend six months in Africa. I didn't ask, like, shut <laughs> up. Yeah. 
But someone did. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I guess. See, uh, I feel like our versions of that team building exercise, mine were very different because it was in basic training in the <clears> military. <throat> so ours yeah. were a lot more physically demanding than yours. Like none of it was like, tell us something about yourself. It was just like, do this fucking shit. <clears throat> uh, Drink his piss. Now that were Falcons. Awesome. Anyway, we'll move away from that one. Mary? Oh, um, off top of my head, I'm hypermobile. So like What's my joints mean? pop out and awesome. yeah. Yeah, shit like that all the time. Um, just really cracky joints. Usually, like once a day, I have to click my hip because it like partially comes out. Just wait until you hit thirty-one. Like everything clicks constantly throughout the day. I really enjoy clicking though. I'm always clicking. Myself. Oh yeah, same. Yeah. But it's, it yeah, it starts getting everywhere. But that was really not that interesting. But there's no else about me. Yeah, you're not that <laughs> interesting in fairness. <laughs> just a boring cunt otherwise. <laughs> clicky joints. That's it. Yeah. So this question's a bit of a weird one because I ain't got a fucking clue how to answer it. Go on. What is your spirit animal? I know what my Patronus is. <laughs> That's not what it asks. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that is then. What's a Patronus? Have you been playing that new Harry Potter game? Eh? Well, come eh, on. Let's... Eh, let's. Eh, oh, is, eh. it, is it a Harry Potter thing? Look, as soon as Harry Potter's all over the news in a minute, I did just find out what my Wisdom World stuff was, okay? Okay. I'm a Hufflepuff. Of course you are. <laughs> oh, no, my God, how predictable. <laughs> and yeah. my Patronus is actually my favourite breed of dog, a Saint Bernard. Saint? Oh, Saint, Saint Bernard? What's a Saint? Saint. Oh, that's yeah, weird. Yeah, you said you it go. like Saint. Yeah. Saint. Saint Bernard. Saint. Yeah, Saint Bernard. You're sinting it wrong. <laughs> Saint Bernard. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's my Patronus. You're seeing, you're right. seeing it wrong. But that's not your spirit animal. That's a I don't know what a spirit animal is. Exactly, but Just answer the, the question. Spirit animal you... is like the animal that you most relate to yeah, on vibe. Oh, yeah. Saint really? Bernard. <laughs> <laughs> it's changed to a Bernard now. <laughs> what? It's a Bernard. <laughs> what? Saint Saint Bernard. Right. Beethoven the dog. All right. Saint Bernard. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you all Excuse know what the dog I'm on about. The big one. Yeah, that, that has one. the whiskey bottle around its neck. Yeah, I yeah, they so. were like snow dogs, aren't they? And they it's the Beethoven dog. Isn't it, it didn't want actually whiskey. That was the cartoon. What version. are the ones that like slobber everywhere? Yeah, you I reckon it's that yeah, one. Yeah, it's that one. Is it that one? I think yeah. the calves. Then, <laughs> <laughs> come on, man. That was cheap. Come but it was on. good. Uh, what's yours, Mary? Give me some time to think. <laughs> um. The thing that popped to my head is a sloth, but I just <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that does yeah. ring true. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'd go for me probably something like a little chimpanzee, because I'm <laughs> a fucking idiot at the best of times. Fucking buffoon is what he is. <laughs> but I'm also a bit of a, a, a cheeky monkey. Big old red ass. <laughs> <laughs> that ass is wrong. Why, why are you looking? Why are you looking at my ass? It's just a form of endearment, isn't it? Like with with, with apes. <laughs> Great, <laughs> but they're not a chimps apes. I thought they were chimps. I thought, is, chimp, I thought it was a chimpanzee or an ape. I thought this, they were like this two this things. This isn't a science lesson, bro. It is now. They are two different things. Thank you, Mary. You just got fucking shot down. Um, we'll move on from that question because I like what? What? Why does someone need a spirit animal? What do you think yours is? Was it, has he not just answered it? Like a, a sexy cat. <laughs> 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 is it one that's just been run over <laughs> oh when i was walking in town like during lockdown you, know, you saw a sex shouldn't cat. be doing that no it was it was during that time when you could like go eat the advice you to go out town was walk, mad wasn't it during um it was great i remember walking and i saw literally a dead cat with its eye like rotting <laughs> oh nice oh. it was awful <laughs> take it home no I if it's a mum i love it when we tell stories <laughs> it's my favorite. they're always such lovely stories <laughs> as well <laughs> tell yeah. me that tell that one again right. was a dead cat <laughs> thank you um, so we'll move on <laughs> what is your favourite piece of clothing it's quite a good question that I like that one uh, Raz we'll start with you because you've got terrible clothing uh, first of all fuck off look at your sleeve <laughs> <laughs> you know you've got I'm a sorry. pair of tits no. so, on your tits so I bought this so second time I went to LA so first time I went to LA everyone did a bit of shopping I didn't because I'm not like I, 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 no, it's not it's not even that i'm just like if it's e not e a black e denim jacket you e don't want it yeah sort of but even then i thought like i'm gonna be back in LA. I, nothing's ever once in a lifetime i've said it before but i'm like i'm not gonna like go all out and spend a load of money because we're, we're shopping on fairfax and i was like i'm gonna be here again at some point in my life literally lo lo next year lo and behold the year after fucking back there so 
So I was like, right, on Fairfax again. Uh, went in the Huff store uh, and just saw this hoodie and, and, and I was like, oh, yeah, I do kind of, do kind of like that. I've, all the yeah, bo- you showed it to us all. All the, all the boys were like, yeah, it's a bit of you, that you should absolutely buy that. So I did. And everyone was like, yeah, it's a real nice hoodie, that Raz. Really nice. Anyway, wore, wore it for a day or two. Oh, no, it was like a week, Raz. Was it a week? It was to, yeah, it was towards the end of towards the, the end of the there. end of the trip. Only then did we did did this uh, this uh, garment drop from maybe an eight, maybe an eight to maybe a two. <laughs> a one. So, thank yeah. you very much. Yep, thank That's you. a bit long in it. That's oh not good. That's a long. Hair. Um, yep. But yeah, carry on. And the reason for that is I just lo- you'll notice that I always wear this with the sleeve rolled up, <laughs> and that's because when I roll it down, it says <laughs> oh, what is that? <laughs> Loves boobies. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my no. god! Show the camera, Raz. Come on, uh, uh, come it. It says boobies on my on my on my on my sleeve. Wow! Like it's two thousand and fucking eight. Like, ooh, I'm so edgy. But it's actually like I think it's something to do with like funding into into research. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. it says like check cancer. yourself on the side yeah, before yeah. you wreck yourself. Yeah. So I liked the hoodie, but then I I dropped it down and I was like, oh god, it says boobies on it. It was MB uh, who pointed yeah, it out. Yeah, and it was MB that pointed out. And you know what? You know when you just know you've lost. You've already lost. <laughs> yeah. Immediate defeat. So now, so now every time I wear it, I I think of the word boobies and I cringe a little bit inside. But I, I still like wearing it. But so I nice I also we no one noticed that under the love art there's a pair of tits. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like there's yeah. just there's a load of tits over there. And sometimes I do wear it to work, and I'm like. They don't know that I'm wearing, <laughs> I'm wearing a hoodie they that says don't. boobies on it. <laughs> wow. But you work from home, don't you? Sometimes I go in the office. It's like fucking five minutes away from me. Anyway, uh, my favourite bit of clothing is probably uh, my re- my uh, like um, flannel Levi's shirt that I bought from Chicago. The red one. Yeah. The yeah it's nice. nice that. Yeah, what a it. great night that was. Yeah, I fucking... Uh, I was speaking to someone who, who, was, who was born in Chicago the other day, and I was like, "I've got, a, I've got an immediate liking to you. Like, you, I, yeah, I get you." That's good. Uh, Jake, favorite piece of clothing? I think it has to be this, doesn't it? What? What? I can't fucking see it. Dear God, this is taking some time, Jake. Come on, we've got a podcast to film here. Oh God, oh, yeah. yeah, I love this app. It's yeah. a shit hat. That, that one in it particular, it's a cheap, shitty one from Santa Monica Pier. Isn't yeah, it? but do you know Obviously. what? He's got a great story to it. Bought this hat on Santa Monica Pier for thirty dollars, and yeah, it is shit. But do you know what? I like it. That's a great story as well. Thanks. <laughs> you just said it, I've got a great story with it. Mm. Well, yeah, the great story is I bought it on Santa Monica Pier. But that's, that's, that's not that's not a story. Cool. That's just a fact about it. Okay, we were walking around Santa Monica, and I was like, I really want to buy a hat. Yeah, and like, then I literally looked, and there was a guy with a stall of hats, and I was like, Oh my god, he's got a hat that I want. How much? He says. He says twenty dollars. You said I'll pay you thirty. <laughs> Would you like a tip? <laughs> you were all talking to a guy at a stall, talk about Route sixty six, and I, I was went. like, Oh yeah, I remember this. Yeah, yeah and I was like, I'm yeah. going to go buy that hat, and I yeah. went and bought that hat. Yeah, it's not very good, and I'd love to get a new one, but for now, that's it. Was that September or was it? Um, no, that was April. 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 Yeah. Uh, Coachella last year. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you don't know, we've been to Coachella. We have. Mary, favorite clothing. Um, well, Sorry, I, I just person who's not been to Coachella, favorite clothing. Yeah, never going. <clears throat> um, <laughs> uh, I got this white dickies jacket recently. I think I showed some of you a picture of it. Jake, it's nice, isn't it? Uh, as if he's texting while I talking. Wasn't, I wasn't. How dare you? It was Chris Bolton. Oh. But you were still texting. What's he texting? What, is oh. someone, is it What's secret convo going on? No, it's, no, it's really bad. It's really bad. Oh, well, you can't, no, is it a little private convo? Is it in group? It's in group. Why is your anxiety oh, high, Mary? I'll just, because she's a stoner. <laughs> uh, are you going to finish your thing? Or Sorry, I'm, I'm <laughs> on edge. Now. Oh, now you're just I'm texting. <laughs> Hello, welcome to a view, a view from the afternoon. We're going to sit on our phones and text. <laughs> Filmed live listen, inside an internet. <laughs> listen along. Uh, yeah, I got this nice white Dickies jacket. It's like a bit cropped. Um, but Jake got me into Dickies because mm. before I got this um, yep. white Too jacket, easy, <laughs> my favourite gown was one of Jake's mm. that I used to ask him to wear all the time. Is that his woman's leather jacket? No, no, it's a, a a black Dickies like overshirt, perfect for a night mm-hmm. out as a girl when you don't want to take a coat. And you let me wear it once, and I appreciate that. But right. you never let me wear it again. Oh, don't time. you have a specific name for that? Shirt? You, you you got really annoyed. Yeah, but let's, uh, not <laughs> you got really that. annoyed once because I'd planned to what wear that that shirt, <laughs> and, I was, and you were like, "Oh, let me wear it." I was like, "Well, no, because I've got nothing else to wear." <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
So, what's your point? Get your tits You definitely did have something else to wear. And I was trying yeah, to convince you that that was a better no, option, it, even though it was. It was definitely <laughs> one. Is it a white Dickies jacket? Don't you have a black? No. Yeah, no. he's exactly. really got me into the brand. Yeah. Dickies is really Is it the same, nice. same thing? You just got like a black one and a white one? No, it's different. It doesn't have an hood and it's like, uh, it's more cropped and more like a oh. summer jacket. <clears> quite light. So I'll be wearing that at festival season. It's good. It's durable as well, isn't it? Like Proper, Dickies. Well, it's yeah. Dickies, work. Dickies is yeah. workwear. Yeah. That's how it all started. Yeah. Very very good clothing. Um, For me, it, had, it it's very obvious. It's my Supreme North Face Mountains uh, jacket yeah i absolutely gorgeous. adore it it's been my favorite jacket for years and the boys and everyone got me it for my 30th birthday ah, that one. yeah and i just adore it I, i'd never be able to afford it myself so it was like one of those presents where like you really want it but you're just never going to buy yourself it and yeah i absolutely love it it's i uh wore it for like two weeks non-stop like even in the house just sat on the sofa just in my jacket uh but now i never I, stop I, exploring <laughs> but now i've stopped exploring so but no, my fi- that's my favourite piece. It's a nice jacket. It is lovely. You've got the best clothes, Dan. Like, I, I love all your jumpers and shit. That it's, supreme jumper you've got with, like, the comic shit on it. Do like. you know, I, I've got a theory about this. Like, most of the boys will only shop online. Mm-hmm. I won't. I go into shops. I have to try stuff on. Mm-hmm. I, I love a sale. Like, I'll be going through everything on rack. I shop like um, a, a stereotypical woman. If I'm trying to not be sexist, I, I argue that you congratulations. Probably do you have, <laughs> <laughs> I argue you probably do have one of the best dress senses, but you've also got one of the worst piece of clothing out of all of us, and that's that um, H3 hoodie. I don't even know if it's H3. Oh, what do you yeah. mean that that oh, hoodie, the, the rip and dip oh, Teddy Fresh? Yeah. Oh, there was a time that, and a no. place for that. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. No. There Why do you think I don't wear it, it anymore? Yeah, I haven't yeah. seen it for a few years. Exactly. So shut your mouth. No, yeah. but I did. I did just say that you do our. Probably one of the best dressed. Right. When when he me. was wearing that, when he first bought it, we were walking around like Vegas and stuff, mm. and everyone was like, "That's a sick hoodie." Yeah, like bunch of losers, mate. No, these, these you wouldn't have known. You weren't you weren't invited. <laughs> 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 That's back when you were a fan. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <oi>. <laughs> so we'll move on. Where are we? Did you go to college? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Nope. Next. <laughs> <laughs> How long was your longest relationship? Five years. Really? Wow, that's long. Five and a half years, actually. Wow, that's a long relationship, though. Yeah. R.I.P. Why did it end? Because I I broke up with him. Why? She Why? was sick of sleeping in the <laughs> bed without him. No, I love not sleeping in bed with people. Um, <coughs> <laughs> because... You- <laughs> no. what, what Mary does is no, she has a shag and then goes to the spare room. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> Gives him a rating. You slept in a separate <laughs> bed. Oh, sorry, you, kick, you make yeah, them but that's, go to the spare room. That spare. wasn't a problem. We, no, no. we did that our whole relationship and loved yeah. it because it, it's good. It keeps things a bit fresh. Yeah. Like, it's like having a sleep. Oh, I'll, I'll sleep in your room. A sleepover. But yeah, anyway, anyway. Um, what did you ask me? How long was your longest oh, relationship? Oh, I've just answered yeah. that. So next. Raz? Depends who you ask, really. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think it was it was six or seven years. Yeah, uh, six. But I, I was I was mentally checked out like four or five years. So <laughs> depends who. Fucking hell! <laughs> Very honest there, right? Yeah. 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 Like just like, fucking shit or get off the pot. Wow. <laughs> no, you do check out if, in a long term relationship. You're not if you start having doubts. You're not just going to leave straight away. You have no. got to let it sit. Yeah. 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 It's maybe, maybe not for four or five years. <laughs> no, no, no. No, I'm, I'm saying like like what was it five, four or five years in, and then it's oh, like okay, right. then then it took me two years to fucking get my acts together. Oh, because you you, you mm. do you just get comfortable and you just accept yeah. things for what, for what they are. Yeah, yeah. Um, and like you just end up going, well, I can't be asked. Not 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 now. Not now. Not now. Yeah, there's always something that gets in the way. Yeah, you just always find an excuse, and you're like, I just don't want to do it now for the for this reason, this reason, this reason, yeah. and then you're like, I should have fucking done this. Many many months yeah, ago. Many anyway, months. everyone listening at home, I hope you're nice and paranoid about your relationship. <laughs> Jake, um, oh my, my seems quite short. Man, I think it's probably over two years. Yeah, yeah, that's probably my longest. What position did she play? <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact: <laughs> sh- she did play rugby. I know that's why I asked. Uh, I don't know. You act like I don't know stuff about it. I don't know, but yeah, it was uh, just over two years. Okay. Oh. Uh, for me, it's like the entire relationship was over four years, but the actual time we were together, like in the official relationship, was more like a year and a half or a year or something like that. But yeah. in my head, we were together for four years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I, I believe in her head, it probably is as well. 
Cool. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> uh, sorry <laughs> to interrupt, but what happens if you really need a wee during a podcast? You hold it. Yeah. I've been on yeah. it since about five minutes in. <laughs> but what actually happens? Uh, well, you what we do. In fact, no, I do have a, yeah, I do have do a have thing, thing for yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you go to the toilet. Yeah, yeah, you can really? go. Just go to just the toilet. Yeah. Yeah. It's something yeah. I started in the last podcast. You just go to the toilet. Can I use yours, Dan? Mm, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, which I, I'll use the guest if it's not blocked. No, go use Rob's. <laughs> <It's not gonna laughs> <cunt>. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> of course you can use mine. Yeah. Thank you. All right, BRB. Uh, Jake might have pissed all over the seat, though, because he's got a floppy foreskin. Oh. Yeah. I've not, I loved it if that's mud true. I've, I've not been to your toilet. That's a fucking uh, uh, first. And, 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 that's, and that's not the case. Hold your horses. Horses. So right, now she's, she's gone. gone. Let's <laughs> fucking slag her off. So if you've seen the last podcast, you'll know that when a guest or you know someone goes goes to the toilet, it's we just berate them. We just say oh, nasty things. Oh, is that what happens? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just yeah. slag them off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> also, she's uh, a gobshite at times. Oh, no. you just yeah. <laughs> But so am I, so I can't hold that against him. Yeah. Spit something <laughs> out, Jay. I can see you're desperate to talk. I'm just, I'm just so like, oh, focus on that last one. <laughs> Do you mean the first one? Same he's thing. just thinking about all the times where he searched yeah, for it and he was like, yeah, I can, fi- I can find out either. Yeah. Definitely. Oh Don't worry, she doesn't watch the podcast, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I think she does. Nah, no, not... I just Not like this I just like to point out that I made a point to go for a piss before this podcast started. Yeah, um, I've got a bladder of iron, so I, I can hold it for I hours. Made sure, even I went before as right. well. I'll tell you what. While she's going, let's do another question. I'll tell you what. Here's, here's a question uh, related. When was the worst piss you've ever had? Like when you've had to hold it for the Ooh. longest ever. It mine was recent. It was on the Yorkshire trip. You know where I was sat in the front and I was just getting desperate. It was causing me so much physical pain, and then when I actually pissed, it wouldn't come out properly it was oh like, it was yeah i know like i know exactly trickle. what you mean yeah She's like back it, now it, it was, you're right <laughs> mine was outside um <laughs> walking down from hollywood bowl after arctic monkeys and literally we, oh, yeah. we, we had a we had a, a fair few pints in there not pints because they don't serve pints over there no they were the big ones weren't they yeah the big oh yeah the, the, the big the big cups and we had, we had a few of them and didn't piss when we left and we literally had to like walk as fast as we could down the hill to fa- to go behind some dumpsters. It's so illegal over there, uh, but it was it, it was one of the worst and best pisses of my life. I've got that um, location saved as a pin. On yeah, my you Google do. Yeah. <laughs> Jake, where was your so worst I, I, or best piss? I can't. Spe- how you think I of can't it. specifically remember a piss, but I do remember uh, one year I went to Download Festival. But I went with my girlfriend at the time and all her all of her family. And we camped. Interesting. And we camped. <laughs> More questions to follow. Yep. <laughs> we camped, but we didn't camp on site. There was a house near Download that had a big garden. Oh, and that's re- so re- really like friendly guy. And he just basically like hired out his garden for any for like families and stuff that wanted to stay. Wow. And because there was quite but, a lot of us. But there weren't rock and roll. There was like, loads of people who do stuff like that. Yeah, but there was a big fan. There was, must have been about eight, nine of us or something like that. So there was loads of us. Yeah. So I went there and he had a portaloo there, but you know, I, I was spending a week in a world with my girlfriend and her family. And I sh- and I was just like so like nervous to shit. I just like, I just <laughs> couldn't I just couldn't do it at all. And I remember it obviously got, got to the last day. We we're on our way home and I was like, man, I need a shit. Like, what can't. you're like five I days can't. in without yeah. shit. Oh, oh my god. And I, I can't, I can't. And I remember that entire journey home, my stomach was just like yeah, I thought it was awful and I remember like, like a St. Bernard <laughs> like St. St. Bernard and I, and, I, and I remember just like literally like curling up in the corner of the car like oh my god like I need to say something but I can't and I remember when we got to a service station I was like right I'm going to go in here all of the cubicles were all taken up and like we, 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 right we're going to go now I was like oh right okay I'm, I'm, I'm coming and I was like oh <laughs> god, you're <having> this. <laughs> yeah, I'm didn't, didn't want to know and I, and I remember like being so not, I won't say rude, but when I got dropped off back at home, I just kind of just rushed into the house, and my girlfriend at the time just had to just make, l- I had to make up something leg- like, I, had to, I don't know what she made up, but she had to make something like, oh, why I just rushed in the house? Why would you have to make her up? Everyone shits. I know, but no, I, I understand, I understand where you're coming from. When I was like se- uh, seventeen, some uh, seven, uh, seventeen, eighteen, something like that, uh, I had a girlfriend who 
her bathroom door wasn't like a normal door. It was like one of them that fold in the middle. Oh, yeah. So like if I'm if I'm there dropping a big old <laughs> a big old <laughs> stone a, a out my yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that sound is gonna travel through the hallway mm-hmm. and like the bedroom was all like a like I don't know, like from, from here to like halfway through this living room. So I was like, I, I don't think I can shit ever in the, in this house. I mean, it could be worse. You could have a bathroom like Rob and me, yeah. where there's yeah, no door. It's, it's just straight into the bedroom from yeah. my bed, laying in bed. I can literally watch you have a piss yeah. or a shit, whichever. <laughs> it's so strange that, like, how they thought when they were building it's this place. Because it's made for bachelors, I reckon. Like, single people. and <clears throat> <laughs> Single people who, who never shag. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> I'm not single. Next question. Ma- Mary, 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 sorry. So this question is about like where the worst worst or best piss you've ever had was like when you've just held it in for so long. Right. That it like physically pains you. It's weird yeah. that this this would be one of the questions on the... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought that you would have just brought this up because I just went for a piss. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly what happened. Oh, all right. Taking, that's taking the back. joke. Okay. Um, <laughs> so we went to Ben Exim one year and um flew to barcelona and then you got to get the train to benicassim which is four hours so i got on and the toilets were closed and i'm not kidding it got to a point where i was actually i'm gonna have to just wee myself like i've never been in more pain um and i was trying to talk to the steward obviously they didn't speak english i don't speak spanish so that were hard but donde was, esta el baño is that, is that actually what it means? Means? Where is the toilet? Oh. Why well, do you know there was Luckily, there was some Spanish people on there that spoke English. Because I was talking to Rob. I was like, I'm going to have to pretend I'm pregnant so that they may open the toilet for me. Like, the toilet were there. They were just kind <laughs> of closed. He looks up, up and down and goes, Si, si. <laughs> <laughs> Muy bueno. But the lovely people on that train basically like, convinced him to open the toilet for me. But it was about two and a half hours in. God, I gave myself a, a water infection for holding it in that long. It was wow. so painful. Wow. Why was the toilet out of order? Literally no reason. It was fine. <laughs> it was fucking fine. Did you try it? The toilet? Yeah, but it was it, it was locked. Like it was a uh, so an electric. You know it was fine? Because I went in afterwards when he opened it, and it was literally fine. But yeah, that was shit. Yeah. Fair. Mm. Right. So um, we shall continue. How long were we going for? Are we reached? Uh... I like an hour and a half. Okay. I like that. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's where uh, mind your own fucking business. True, you know. Uh, we are currently at an hour and thirteen minutes. Oh wow! So we're not far off. Uh, yeah, if we go over, I don't care because you know the longer the podcast, the better in my opinion. Because most people, or when I say most people, I mean me, um, watch them at work or listen to them at work, and it's just in the background. And the longer it is, the longer they can listen and not have to worry about changing up. And yeah, I like true. That. No, that's true. Uh, so the next one, where are we? What would you name your children? That's a good one, that. I, know. I, have, I, I, haven't, given, I haven't given this <laughs> no, any sort right. of thought. No. Like When I was younger, uh, I had a best mate. Well, I've still got a best mate called Josh. And I always said I'd call it Josh if I had a boy. Uh, because he was like, you know, fucking well close with him. And also, his surname's White. Same as mine. Mm. Ah, so, so you know it goes. Like, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, Logical. I like it. That's a weird name. <laughs> <laughs> so I've actually given this some thought. Cost Cost you right. yeah. Biggest <laughs> going. What would you call your kids? <laughs> <laughs> That's first message, isn't it? <laughs> That's the icebreaker. No, it's in it's in the the paragraphs. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> so it's, it's, it's in, ah, ah, yeah, you're right. I think I would call them. Yeah, I've had a good day. <laughs> <laughs> sure. All the same. Uh, so I would very much like to have a boy. Called, <laughs> call it on on the birth certificate. It'd be it'd be it's it's like full name. It'd be Manuel Vincent. What? Love it. Oh, Vincent Valley. Yeah, quite Vincent. Yeah, two V's. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's yeah. fucking gangster. Well, like call, 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 call him Vince, but Vincent. Vince um, Valley. Middle name James. So oh, I love because, that. Because of my dad. Let's have a kid. VJV. <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> but yeah, Vincent James Valley. It's a weird in. Vince Valley. <laughs> and because and, 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 of my dad. Oh, is that his name? Yeah. Oh, fair enough. Um, but I will. I'm going to admit this right now. That name purely came from Vince Noir of the Mighty Boosh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good person to yeah, name. You could after that. I mean, the yeah. character is good. Like, I, I didn't. I didn't like Noel. Though. Yeah, Noel's a bit weird. 
He's just a bit oh, odd, isn't he? No, no, he's, he's, no, he's a, odd, but in a good way. A nice enough bloke, but I, I just find him a bit odd at times. But yeah, I would, I would, have, I would very much like Vincent Jones Valley. Mm, very good, Ryan. You're gonna call I, your Brian. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Brian complete the Trinity. Um, I don't have a, a name for my future children, um, but I will give you a story. Um, at uni, my friends found out my father's name. And he couldn't stop fucking laughing when he found out my, my father's name. It is funny. My father's name is Glyn. <laughs> Glyn. <laughs> Glynny Glyn. <laughs> so his, uh, his, his full name is Glyn Eaglen. <laughs> and my, fr- my friend was just like, oh. it was just like, your dad's name is Glynny Glyn. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Glyn. I, was, I, was, I was there like, I'm, 20, I'm 21 years old, mate, and I've, ne- I've never realised that. <laughs> Not cut on Don once. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. That is funny, that. Anyway, Mary. Uh, I like the names Jasmine, oh. Alice, Lola. Oh, Lola's Lola. Lola's nice name. Yeah, that's what I always name my kids on Sims. Like the, bu- <laughs> like the bunny, the sexy bunny. Who? Lola Bunny. Yeah. Is that yeah. a name? Yeah. Yeah. The, the bunny from Space Jam. Yeah, you know. Oh, what? I'm thinking of Jessica Rabbit. You know, you know oh, No, think. she's called Jessica Rabbit. <laughs> 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 you, you know, you know what? Both those two things. I changed my mind about the celebrity crush thing. Yeah, you <laughs> know <laughs> so what? Lola had it going on, man. Look, but, but Lola but, over Jessica but, Rabbit. But not, the, but not in the new version, though. Oh, I haven't seen it. I've, I've only, only seen seen pictures. Child. I've only seen pictures. Of it. You have, yeah. I've not. I've not seen what the pictures. F- just, just the stuff. The, the moving ones. <laughs> <laughs> it was about thirty per second, I think. It was on this hub website. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Zootopia. Um, shall we move on? What about yours, Dan? Oh, have I not done one? No. What was the question again? What would you name your kids? I did one. I said, Josh, you fucking idiot. Oh, yeah, you did. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. God, you're so slack. Oi. Uh, it's been a long day. No, wait, not for you. You haven't got a job. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what was slash is favourite subject in high school? Your favourite subject in high school? High school. High school. High school. Look, I've got a lazy mouth, all right? Lazy brain. <laughs> Unless it's a big old We've done memory. the high school ones. Yeah. If you want to know anything Keep about that. high school, yeah, go watch the Back true. to School right. podcast. Well, here's, some, listen. here's a boring question for you. Perfect. What's your favourite ice cream flavour? <gasps> oh, I know this one. Yeah. Pistachio. Oh, so oh, I used to work in an Italian restaurant. See. Um, on a Saturday. And I used to go in early and do like all the pizza prep. And then it was just like washing up and shit. It was, it was, this was like when I was a kid. <laughs> How is that pizza prep? <laughs> just pizza prep, isn't it? Just um, and, and then, so I'd, so I'd do that. I'd do that, busy. I'd do that busy. to start off with. And then I'd pot wash. And then I'd like help out through the service. And then I would um, just do cleaning. And one job I'd love to do was like cleaning out the freezers upstairs. Uh, simple things, huh? And that's where the ice cream was kept. So every time I was like, right, Jake can go clean the freezers. Yeah, not a problem. Grab a quick spoon. <laughs> Yeah, start cleaning. It's like, right, I've done, one, spoon. I've done 20 seconds here. Right, I'll have a scoop of ice oh, cream. Nice. <laughs> and yeah, pistachio ice cream. Was did they ever find out? No, nah, I did the fuck. And the place is closed now, so it's fine. Fair enough. Raz is yours, lemon and chocolate. <laughs> oh. Uh, you, know, you know what? Um, what The chocolate fudge brownie one is great from... Um, Ben and Jerry's. What? Ben and Jerry's. Yeah, yeah that's that's, that's, very, that's very good. Um, but I do really like those. Um, I got a thing for dark milk now. Um, and the dark milk, like Magnums that they do, not Magnums, but you get the style that I mean. Mm. Yeah. Um, they, they do them and they're fucking gorgeous. And they got like a little bit of like, not syrup, but like gooey bits in them. In them. Yeah, like not caramel, but like. Just go- some. Like, yeah, like, like gooey like stuff in the, in the middle. And it's fucking brilliant, honestly. If you like dark milk, then they're fucking great. Nice. I like the chocolate bars. The one with the, um, is it, you know about Cadbury's dark milk? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the yeah, one with uh, bits of salted caramel in it is fucking lovely. Yeah, th- they're all right. Get stuck in my teeth, though, so I'm not big enough. Yeah, but my teeth are fucked. <laughs> Mary? I mean, you, you've literally had a chipped tooth. <laughs> yeah. It's fine, though. Arguably one of Leave the most chips. <laughs> uh, uh, one, arguably one of the most fucked. Uh, yeah, I said it, you fucked said up right. what you were saying, right. so shut up. <laughs> Mary, favourite ice cream? Uh, mint chocolate chip, hands down. Yeah. I classic. respect that as it's well. It's classic. Gorgeous. Yeah. How dare you take my answer? Do you ever have like a little... Oh. One of those... Uh, do you ever have as a Cornetto? Kind of yeah, thing? gorgeous. Yeah, fucking brilliant. Yeah. Especially when you get the... Big bit of chocolate at the bottom. Yeah. Oh. See, for me, I like it when you go to the seaside yeah. and it's a bit powdery. It's like almost gritty. I know, I, I know I like, what you mean. Yeah, I like that in a mint and chocolate chip. One some, of, it's really good. One thing I was so annoyed about is, you know, when we did the Yorkshire um, Yorkshire Road Trip video yeah. and we went to Lightwater Valley, we passed fucking Brymore ice cream 
and there was no reason why we shouldn't have gone apart from you just drove past it because we were all like, yeah, let's go get an ice cream from Brian. Yeah, it does stuff like that. <laughs> you I just drove to... straight past it. <laughs> it does stuff like that. We were all like, so, yeah, let's definitely go. Let's go. Because Brian was great. So the, th- the thing is, like, when, you, when you're driving, you f- you're focusing you focusing on the road. <laughs> yeah, you, you're literally focusing on the road. Your, your main objective is drive forward, don't kill us. And like, Sometimes that- you got to turn. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maneuver the vehicle, also don't kill us. And like when when you fucking hear him chattering it back, oh yeah, this would be great, this would be great. And you don't realise that what what what, what people What's are fucking been? wanting to do has just gone straight past <laughs> you. It's like, guess we're not going there then. It's like, well, somebody <laughs> just give me a fucking direction. I mean, I'm going that way. To be fair, there was t- there has been quite a few times where I've been sat in the back with Captain Spatula over there, sat in the front, <laughs> and. Uh, I've wanted to go somewhere and because you've not got that big of an interest in it, I've been like, look, there's one there. And then you're like, we can't go. And it's just like, there was the thrift shop, there was why, why, CVS. Why, why have I been like lumped this into thing. this? Well, so, you were sat so, outside of him. So, it's so your I, can, I can, I can pick out any one of these. So the CVS, I'd literally just come off an 11 hour flight and I was so tired and I'm driving in America in LA traffic yeah. and he's wanting trying me, to, he's to, wanting me to do like no, no, a big no, no, old no. U-turn yeah. over three lanes of traffic to go to a CVS Not over there. Not at all. There. I was looking out the front window and I could see them was, ahead was, and you two couldn't oh, for no, some reason. And it was on the opposite side of the road. I needed the um, oh, your prescription. And, yeah, I needed yeah, a yeah. prescription, yeah. Uh, hey, I'm off that now. Oh, congrats. Oh, nice one, Dan. And the thrift shop was something I can't be asked getting into. Yeah, that's true. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, I was probably a dick to you and you just didn't want to go because I was a knob. I no, gen- genuinely, it's because it's because I've literally just travelled for 11 hours. I was yeah. knackered and three lanes of fucking American traffic. I ain't doing it. I'm just going. I'm going to where where we need to go. Shit, yeah. excuse. That thrift shop would have been great. It looked massive. Yeah. Just just you wait till the next time we're going to mm. America. We are fucking darting out yeah, of there. I can no. tell you that. Jeez. Uh, hypothetically. <laughs> I'm going to show you, mate. <laughs> All right, so the next question. Uh, what was your first job? Who's, call who center. wants to answer? Uh, call center. Uh, right, your first ever job? Yep. You That's... didn't have like a job when you were like a teenager? Nope. Uh, went to went straight out of school, into college, into college, into uni, into, uh, from uni into a call center. No so way. you're classing oh, wow. stuff like a paper round as a job? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, fucking hell, I had so, two jobs at the same time. Oh, in fact, yeah. whilst, whilst, I was at, whilst I was at uni, I was a DJ. Yeah, that works. Yeah. Oh, I mean, okay. you press play. No, I did, I did a good <laughs> no, no, job back then. No, that, 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 I'd cl- I'd cl- that. <laughs> I like the addition of back then, like you don't do it anymore. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> don't do a good job anymore. I do. Uh, yeah, now I do a fucking great job. <laughs> like, it's, a full, it's a full fucking show now. Right? You got to come see it. Um, yeah, you know, you know what the great thing about that was. Um, so like when everyone was like sp- getting a student loan and like getting the grants and stuff, and they'd be like skint towards like the end of the month. I'm just saying, I like balling. Like, yeah, I'm, yeah. G- I'm gonna spend all my student loan. That's all I got a Mac. Yes. I was like, right, I'm gonna buy that. And like that was that was a fucking grand down when you like when yeah, you was broke as fuck. I yeah. was like I was balling. God, I remember those days. I used to get paid every month what yeah. you boys got in your grant. Yeah, yeah, it was fucking great. I know it was great. I had loads of money. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me now. I'm you used to come come see like Uncle Dan. Like, hello, Dan. Can I can I have a drink, please? Are we going out tonight, Dan? <laughs> <laughs> no, let's go, let's go to Dry Dock. It's cheap there. Let's see what the bank balance says, <laughs> wait, wait. boys. Come on. <laughs> we go any anywhere else. It's not like a quid a drink. It's like, oh, maybe not. <laughs> God, those were good days. I used to spend so fucking much on just shit I didn't need. You were bad with it. Yeah, I still am. Still are. Yeah. yeah. It's just now I, I I get to a stage where I don't have any money left to spend it on shit, so I just don't eat for a couple of weeks. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I'm I'm much better with money now. It's still <clears throat> shit, but I don't buy stuff like Das Horn. So for anybody out there who don't know what that is, which is going to be most of you, uh, it's a plastic drinking horn that has a strap, because obviously it's a horn, you can't put it down. It's like it's stupid. Uh, so you have a strap and you wear it. You see them a lot of download. Dan's yeah. like the type yeah. of guy who'll see something on like his Facebook ads for like Amazon. No, no, no. I've, I've never been like, that bad. Ooh. I'm more of a Firebox kind of guy, or I was back then. Oh, yeah. like, I'd see the random place. Ooh, He's more well, like a, all these weird things. More like a see a block of wood and turn it into an ashtray kind of guy. <laughs> yep, great. <laughs> I, I I think I probably have some something like ADHD because yeah. I'll I'll get this thought in my head where I want to do something. So a uh, couple of months ago, it was making stained glass pieces. I thought, that's cool. I thought, that's very artistic, very creative. I like the look of them. And it'd be nice to give it out as gifts, nice to do stuff. Um, what are you doing down there? Just, just, I, it's from this angle. That, <laughs> that one's going up and down, and you've just reached across for his crotch. I'm just, I'm just like... 
Asking him to calm down. But Just calm his little brain down. <laughs> so, like... You thought so. I yeah. thought, right, yeah, let's fucking do this. So my brain is like... Don't just test it out. You need everything that that you possibly could have in you order really to do it. You are really bad for that. Yeah, yeah, it's my brain isn't like it. Don't want to do things half assed It don't want to test the waters and see how you get on and bodge it. It wants everything because, and uh, it's probably because of my background of being an aircraft engineer and the military and stuff like that. So it's like everything has to be very precise. Uh, so everything is needed. And I, my brain's like, right, I need all this stuff. So I spent loads of money on stuff to make the stained glass, uh, to solder it, to do all sorts. Uh, I tested it out. Dan wouldn't record a track without like being at Abbey Road. Mm, like, yeah. yeah. Can't do it. Don't, no. don't have yeah. stuff. Why would you do anything outside of Abbey Road? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I spent loads of money on it. Um, and I sold, I, I cut four pieces of glass. A lot of blood. Soldered them together. And I haven't touched it since. Great. Yeah. How's, how's the Dremel treating you? I didn't touch that whatsoever. <laughs> didn't touch it once. R- running out of money at the end of a month, um, I had about 30 quid left or something like that. thought, ooh, I want to do something crafty. So I bought a Dremel. Didn't use it. Great. Anyway, didn't speak, to do speaking of something crafty, Jake, what was your uh, first So job? my first job was when I was like 14, I think it was. It was just a pot wash. Um, but it was like after that, after like that first week, I then ended up with three jobs all at once, all pot washing. So I'd do like Monday, Tuesday. Same company. No, it was like just give no, me no, more hours. It, like, it, like, it was like three different, pl- three different like tax dodge. Um, <laughs> three different like restaurants. It's like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'd do one place. Uh, Thursday, Friday, I'd do another place, and then Saturday, I'd Saturday and Sunday, I'd do another place. Oh, that's a lot of work. Seven yeah. days a week. But it was, but it was all like part time. It was like all like while I was at school. So it was just oh, yeah. like, but and it wasn't like mad shifts either everyone that I've I was still only 40 it's like growing up in like a like like a small town yeah. is it a small town yeah, yeah, yeah they've all been like pot washes yeah. like in a, there's in fuck a all else to yeah. do there yeah yeah all they've got is a, a that's few the, that's, pubs. that's all that's yeah. there maybe though. a restaurant that's literally two. all that's there pubs cafes hairdressers and charity shops that's all we yeah. have because you're fucking boring get yeah, to a big city hello that's why i'm here <laughs> hello 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 right what was your first job Mary? uh mackie's but not as like a kitchen staff <laughs> As a, oh yeah, you were saying you this. Oh, yeah. they used to wring your hair out for the oil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, net, <laughs> net zero, about <laughs> uh, doing. It's called a customer care associate, but it's literally just a cleaner <laughs> at Mackey's. Um, it's like you know, it's like being head, of, it's like being he, head of IT security, but you just reset passwords. Like it was, <laughs> it was, it was the worst job. No. Look, just stop. I'm not going to say where it was, but um, the hardest part of that job were probably, you know, when Mackie's used to have the ketchup mm-hmm. dispenser? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Them bags, right? So it's bags underneath yeah. the, uh, like, cupboard. 10 litre bags of ketchup and, oh. and barbecue yeah. and carrying that in your arms, like, trying to fucking, there's customers everywhere. It's so embarrassing. It's so messy. And you have to, like, put a little lever on it. It's, it's a hard job. I imagine it weighs somewhere between 10 and 15 kilograms, so... It, it yeah, quite heavy that. It was for me at sixteen. I, I can see some like I is wondering why I, why I kind of guess the weight. No, because I know the the weight of water. Okay, I'm not going to tell you how. No. Anyway, um, my first job. <laughs> yep, just going to leave you guessing. But water is not ketchup. No, but it's definitely got it in, and it's a liquid substance. So yeah, that's why it's a bit thicker, if, if it was just water, I'd, as I said, it's around a liter 10K. of water, a, a kilogram. Yep. Well, it's roughly, it's, yeah, it's, you know, it's like a kilometer. It's just, just, just a yeah. bit in one direction. Don't know which. Uh, Baby, light up. <laughs> <laughs> Great. This is going downhill this <laughs> <laughs> Um. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll answer this and then we'll just, we'll, we'll sack it off because you're all boring me now. Oi. Is, there, is there a really good one after this? A uh, question? Like, yeah. yeah. I mean, no. there's one that relates to us. There's three uh, sorry, yeah, three, and the last one of those three relates to us, so we'll go to that one. Okay. Uh, my first job, I'll get it through quickly. I, w- I worked at Hawkins Bazaar, which oh. is a toy shop. Um, I worked there for like <clears throat> two or three weeks until I got fired for not going in. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. Um, <laughs> You're sacked. Why? You're not in. <laughs> well, no, it, it, was, it wasn't my fault. So the first, <laughs> the first day, like... Buses were cancelled and I had no other way of getting in. My my right, parents it's, were at it's work. Never his fault. No, but yeah, my parents were at work fault, and I didn't live anywhere for not walking distance, like nothing. Which Hawkins Bazaar? White Rose. High Wickham. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> 
Oh, so this was when you <laughs> yeah yeah moved back. Yeah, so worked was there pre RAF. Yep. Wow. That's why it was only a few weeks. Um, oh, I won't. I got sacked. But then the, <laughs> so I rang up and I was like, my bus ain't turning up. Like I've been here for an hour and a half, like waiting for a bus. They're supposed to be every ten minutes, and not a single one's turned up. So like, yeah, don't worry about it. Just you know, we'll see you tomorrow. It's like sound. Next day, uh, my mum gave birth, and I was up all night because she had a home birth. So I was just Selfish. dead to the world. I was sixty, a sixteen-year-old boy, only just started a new job, and it is knackery when you just start one. In. Like my my younger brother's going a lot through of it trauma now. from seeing mum's puss again. I, had, yeah. I didn't watch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I got my laugh. I don't care. So <laughs> I was knackered, and I, I rang up, and I was like, "Yeah, like I'm fucked," and it made me feel a bit unwell. Like it made me like because I was so tired, it proper took it out of me. So I was like, so "I'm not coming in." So. They were like, yeah, no worries. We'll, we'll put you on shift for tomorrow so you get some hours. I was like, sound, thanks. And the next day, I was fucking ill. Oh, <laughs> excuses, say. excuses. Never your Bedridden fault. ill, Mary. Thank you. Wow. Um, probably from wearing myself down and looking at mum's puss while she's giving birth. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, when I rang up, he was like, yeah, just don't bother coming in again. Like, <laughs> oh, so, just don't bother. So, I rang up head office and I said, I've just been fired over the phone. And he got reprimanded because <laughs> oh, you're not allowed wow. to do that. No, you're not. No. Nah. It's incredibly hard to sack someone. And it turns out, because I was speaking to a lad who works who worked there for a while and I got to know him and he was he was dead sound. Uh the manager just didn't like me. He just like because I don't know what it was. Like he was an unpopular person. He was a he was like the kind of person nobody would want to interact with. Uh and he just got jealous of people and he's done it in the past where like if someone comes in and people like him and they get on with everyone straight away he's like oh, and he takes a bit of a vendetta against him so he just used it against me so i got him fucked nice yeah. have we all answered now yep, yep. all right yep. good uh moving on so what is the first item on your bucket list first item on the on my bucket list. what's the f- if you are, you've got a book uh, like there's good a bucket list out there no you no. say you don't i really don't uh, I want, i've never I, written uh, one uh, I, want, I want to fly private just once oh shit no, that's pretty good, that one. I've been in a private jet. They're not that big. No, but it's just, it's just like... Just calling it. The experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if it's just fucking going over to Dublin, I just want to experience it, <laughs> experience it once. Like, just to be like, yeah, I got, got a jet. Like, just, <laughs> I got all it's, private, it's hired. Bitch. It's like... Yeah. <laughs> Anyone else? Um, all right, I'll go with mine then. So I want to climb Mount Fuji. That's like, that's been on top of my list Is that for years. No, sorry, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. I beg you, fucking. Pardon. What's the one in Wales that I'm thinking of? Snow. 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 Yeah. Idiot. It is quite similar to Fuji. Sorry. And you know what? They are located sorry. really close sorry. to each other. So it's because I think we've spoken about it before, and we went to Wales recently, and that's I think. Where do you? On. Right. It's not Wales. Where do you think Mount Fuji is? <laughs> I think it's like Japan. It is. Right, okay. <laughs> Very no, different to Wales. It's because we've been to Wales recently and we were talking about climbing something <sighs> and we've also spoke about Fuji recently as well and I think my wire just got a little bit crossed there. I think they did. You're yeah, right. right. Uh, Mary? Are you getting... Topper. Yeah, were you getting... <laughs> <laughs> there's so many just things that I want to say but it's just, like you know when you just can't get the words out of your mouth because there's so much going on. Oh God! You're Sorry, a fucking idiot, you. God. You're, ex- you're extending this time. Sorry. Are you? <laughs> okay, oh. that's a good one, Dan. That's really good. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, uh, Mary. What's top of your? We're not going to call it a bucket list because you know. You well, don't, I've you got don't one, one actually. Um, I'd love to do <laughs> ayahuasca like in a proper cere- like a proper place, like an official place with a real guide that can. MB wants to do that. Does he? Oh, no, he wants to do, do DMT. Do an ayahuasca with MB. It would send <laughs> me into the worst trip of my life. <laughs> oh, he'd be he a right be a wanker, fucking wouldn't he? Hot. Yeah, he would be so bad. But yeah, I think that'd be really cool. I like all psychedelic stuff. So. Yeah, psychedelics are fucking great. <clears throat> yeah. Don't do drugs. Um, <laughs> Jake. Climb out Snowden. <laughs> <laughs> we fucking drove up it the other week. It, it, over in Japan. It's <laughs> <laughs> an expensive trip, that, isn't it? <laughs> You're a fucking idiot. Shut <laughs> up. What's the next question? No, you haven't answered this I one. I don't know. Um, I always wanted a number one hit in Estonia. What? Why Estonia? As I, growing up as a kid, I always said my life goal is to have a number one hit in Estonia. Why Estonia? Just It was just a country I made. Like, I just thought, wow. I want a number one hit That's there. So have you weird. ever been to Estonia? Nope. It's 
it's different. Yeah, it's and very I different. growing up, I always wanted a number one hit there. So you never know. <laughs> Fair enough. It's a weird one. <laughs> really weird. And then yeah. clown. That's that's nothing. Great. So right, we'll move on. What is your go-to hairstyle? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever this is. Yeah. So the same hairstyle you have all the time. Yeah. Ryan, is it possibly the same hairstyle you have all the time? Yeah. Mary, is it possibly the Millie B look? <laughs> Come on, do it. Yeah, well, go on, do it. Go on. Come on. Enter the beat. Enter the beat. <laughs> uh, do, do the roar. <laughs> no, it's definitely not this. It's, it is quite eggish, especially on this fucking camera. Um, <laughs> just my normal down hair with the <laughs> curls and that. You're making it too easy for me. <laughs> I know, I just regret that. Yeah, is yeah. that it? Right? Yeah, what's Sound. yours? Um, my current hairstyle. Your oh, yeah. your best was um, Leeds Fest a couple of years ago when you first got that wolf cut. Oh, yeah, so current. No, but it was a little <laughs> bit longer. That was that was well, really it, good. It grows. Jake, yes. I, I actually think your best hairstyle is when you wear it up in the bun. Yeah. I, yeah, and yeah, you don't like that, but I remember coming here once and you were here and you were just chilling and you had it up and I'm like, I love your hair. And you're like, oh, what? But it, it really suits you. Jake, why don't you straighten it anymore? It's too much effort. Because it, it looks it, shit it, straight. Yeah. He knows it that really curls, curls get yeah, the girls. So he's trying shit. to take my vibe. Yeah, I, I, I hate it. I hate it. It's straight. It's too much effort. Raz, just, your hair now is currently the best hair you've had. Yeah. But I do miss your emo hair. <laughs> oh yeah, like you should bring it back. Yeah, like the bl- the blonde, blonde hair was great. Yeah. And then then the red hair for a while. No, nah, the red one good. You know, th- yeah, I kind of doesn't. It's not within my palette as is the trend <laughs> lately. Am I right? <laughs> is it? I don't know. Yeah, is that yeah there's yeah. like a color th- theory. Th- color, yeah, yeah, big yeah. on that. What? So there's this there's this thing there's there's this idea that everyone's got like a color palette. Right. Why do I know about this shit? <laughs> Hi I'm guys, well, you welcome back. You, you saw it on TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> no, I've watched a video on it. It's really bad. Yeah, so um, so, so it, there's the idea that everyone suits, uh, everyone suits, suits see, see, certain see, see, see. colours. And like, there's this wo- woman that's like very uh, viral at the minute. And she's she has like this like cloths with like different shades on it. Right. And it'll be like, oh, are you a winter colour? Are you a muted colour? Are you like, mm-hmm. are, I wish are you amazed was. about how much I know about I this? I really am, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's true winter. There's like a few different winters. Well, how do you know summers. like what you are? Like, so what you she... have to go for like, uh, to like a consultant oh. essentially. So, so someone's made this up to. and said, come pay me and yeah. I'll tell you no, what No, it's not made up though. And it, <laughs> come there to, is and no I'll tell you. Uh, that yeah, one. The most expensive one. Because there's some colours that you put on and you just know they don't suit you. And other colours, oh, this really bright brings out my skin. Like if a pale person, like with certain undertones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, yeah, 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 It's all about the undertones. I know too much about this. Obviously. Teenage dreams, so hard to <laughs> be. <laughs> so, so if you're very pale and you wear something that's quite bright, like a, a, like that can wash your face out mm-hmm. and then not draw enough attention to your face. Yeah. See, my issue with this whole thing is like every colour suits me. <laughs> you can be kind of, if you're more neutral, then... The undertones you can pull off warm or cool, so you can be more. It's usually cool, because me dead cool. God. There is a, a TikTok filter um, that yeah. you can use, and it you it has like your face in the middle like an egg, and then it flashes through the different colors, and then you That's can cool. see what suits you the most. Very hard to work out though on yourself. Yeah. Why would people it's not just use that TikTok filter instead of going not, to a It's not as accurate because some of the colors on there. I know way too much about this. Some of the you some of the colours, so much about this. some of the colours that are on there are actually part of that palette. Like some they'll, of them they'll, they'll just be random. Case, the and it's all, and it's yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's it's not as accurate as obviously going to a full time person who does yeah. it for a job. I went for an interview at Burberry once, and they make you do this eye test where you've got to be able to put all the colours in order, but they're all like incredibly close to each other. So it's like loads of pinks but like this end is different to this end and you've got to match them all in the right order oh, and uh okay. it's apparently really hard to do the average person i can't remember what the statistic is now but they um <clears throat> like it's not passed that well like it's not everyone passes it it's not commonly passed i fucking smashed it under that hundred wow. absolutely hell. annihilated these baby blues That's don't miss really a trick <laughs> how long you been at burberry oh don't work <laughs> <laughs> I, I turned them down yeah <laughs> i said no your wage is too small not for me 
Um, so this is the one that I was going to end on, but it's a really shit question that relates to us. Perfect. <laughs> Just what we want. <laughs> Have you been to any concerts or festivals? <laughs> Fucking hell. Mm. Yeah. 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 A couple. Been to a few. Yeah, quite been, a lot, actually. Been to... Not, be, not been to uh, a select few that... Yeah. Maybe maybe a little bit this year. Maybe. Mm. Who, who one, knows? One towards the end of the year really catches my eye, but it's a big expensive boy. Mm. Mm. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk away. about that off camera, yeah, shall that we? One shit. Um, shall we do one proper question last? Yeah, one final on. one. Yeah. So this one's all right. If you could change one bad habit of yours, what would it be? It's quite a good one, this. I quite like it. Procrastinating for me. Yeah. Mm, good. It's my biggest vice. Like I've got to do a tax return by the first of April. I'm not even just get Rift up. to do it. Who the fuck's that? Rift. Have you never heard of Rift? They do your tax returns for you. Yeah, but it's we're not sponsored by <laughs> Rift. But Rift, if you're out there, yeah, I'm just putting that off. Yeah, yeah. I, I, See, I get where you're yeah. coming from. I, yeah, pro I procrastinate a lot. That's same, same to me. I'll just put stuff off until it becomes a problem. Yeah. So, so my my van, it's got no brakes at the minute. I, I like my my my. my <laughs> sorry, that's a big problem. So I should I should have mentioned this the other day, but we literally drove to London back and back. But I, I literally didn't have any front brakes, pretty what much. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so, still got so, to it back. Yeah, yeah, remember, so, remember when I said, I trust Raz as a driver. <laughs> yeah, so you know, now you know you can trust me because I literally yeah, did it with fuck all wow. brakes. Um, so no, no, it's, it's, it's my, my pads at the front. Of the, they're showing a warning on my van. Um, and like, it's, it's, it's fucking different, trust me. Are you wow. touching metal um, yet? You are. Are you touching metal yet? Sometimes it does screech a little bit. Um, and it needs a service, and I need to get. I should get done this week, but again, another day goes by, like today, where I said I was going to get it booked in. I haven't. Mm -hmm. No, so, just had a lazy day, waking up at eleven, you know, not doing. Oh, all. Didn't I woke up have at a meeting, eight today? Then nap again. Why? <laughs> I told you before, if you were listening. I don't. Took Rachel to work. See. Oh yeah. Now I remember that See? she's now after she's reminded me. Yep. Um. Jake. Yeah, mine's probably the same. To be fair, I yeah. I put a lot of stuff off. I, I it's annoying for me. I always get motivated at the wrong times. It's like when I'm just yeah. about to go to sleep. Yeah, in it. Oh, I change my it. life tomorrow. Yeah. It's like right. I, I just need to go somewhere. Oh, but now I really want to do this. It's like this is just the wrong time to do it. Um, that's that's probably my my biggest issue. On on Friday evening, at like half four, mm. I did a load of work. Yeah. Like between the hours of half four and half six, I was at the most productive all week. And then it got to half six on Friday and I was like, why am I working? Man? Yeah. Fuck this. <laughs> I was like the most productive I've ever, almost ever been in my life. And I was like, yeah, fuck this. I'm done. <laughs> it's always really bad when I come here. Um, and as I'm coming here, it's like, oh, oh, I wish you'd come at home instead. <laughs> Thanks. So every time I come here, it's like, oh, I really wish I could do this. And then by the time I'm here, I'm like, oh, you can't be asked now. Yeah. I know that feeling. Yeah. So for me, um, I did have it, but I've just forgot. <laughs> that's, pro that's probably what your trait should no, be. No, because I don't mind my forgetfulness. Sometimes it's quite funny. Um, I talk myself out of a lot of things. Like, mm -hmm. like I get inside my own head proper bad, and yeah. I'll like if I haven't messaged someone back, like I'll meet like what? No, I've just thought of a, yeah. another trait that but I have. But if, if I haven't messaged someone back, like I'll get anxiety about it, and then I just it'll, it'll put me off from messaging them, and like I get inside my own head thinking it's going to be really bad when I message them, when in reality when I message them it's just normal. Like they're just like you're a mate. But there's all sorts like I, I talk myself out of loads of stuff. Like I, 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 I will wear the skirt in room. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's stuff illegal. Like that, like, <laughs> <laughs> but stuff like that, like. I mean, that's, uh, I'm, I'm joking. No, I know, but, it, it, but it is stuff like that. Like, I look banging in a tennis skirt. I'd love to fucking wear one all the time, but I just think about stuff too much. I get, I overthink it. Like, whether man. it's going to, whether my brain's going like, oh, is that someone, someone's going to judge me, someone's going to attack me, someone's going to do anything. Not necessarily attack. Oh, you know I'm we dead take hard. up the skirt shots. <laughs> <laughs> so 2023 Jeff comes out as a predator wow. that's not what I meant yeah. only, wow. only, only, to, only to the boys yeah. Yeah. only to the boys man the brothers why is it only to boys <laughs> no that's not the boys <laughs> I, I, just, just to make mine a bit different from Mary's my a trait that I'd change is responding to people I'm really bad I'm really bad yeah, at you responding are. to you I'm really bad at responding to Chalk it's, it's not oh. that what I'm, just me and Chalk you two are quite regular. I'm, I'm starting. No, there's, to there's literally no reason at all. I'm starting to be quite proud of myself for being unresponsive quite recently. Because like, 
I think especially like with us lot, like there's there's this like dire need to <clears throat> like if someone's speaking in a, in a group conversation, mm. it's like I need to get in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to get yeah, my. Yeah, I need to get I something to, yeah, in there. I need to get my diss in yeah, quick. Yeah, it's always a diss. Yeah, yeah. So I'll be like driving, and I'll see someone watch. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't. I literally fucking can't. But I really need to. Um, but I, but yeah, like I've been, I've been like I just can't, I need to just get away yeah, sometimes I, and be like I've seen your message, yeah. but that doesn't mean that you have like the authority to get one back. Like yeah. this is me time now. See, for me, I feel like the world is too connected now. We never used to be this through any period of time. Like we are literally on each other's fucking doorsteps at a moment's notice, mm. and we do it all day every day. So it's like I have to segregate me time. There's times where yeah. like. I can see my phone's buzzing away, yeah. but I won't look at it because mm. I'll be like, no, ignore my that's phone. A, I don't want to use my phone. I need yeah. to stop using my phone as much as I do. Like I, I use it fucking all the time. So it's, it's for me, like I try and avoid my phone. It's not I'm yeah. avoiding chats. I'm avoiding anything like that. I'm just, I don't want to use my yeah. phone. Do you yeah. use Because um, a lot of the time it's a case of like, I say, <clears> I say, I say you and Chuck, because usually you're sending me something. Usually it's a TikTok. Yeah. And it's just like, I'm, I, I, if I do that, I'll then... Start watching go, go, go into see that. that. See that yeah. that works if you don't have the app because then it opens in the browser and then you true. don't get sucked in. Yeah, do, do you use um like these uh, focus zones on iPhone? No, no, I never no, really don't know what that is. Uh, I have one that comes on like <clears throat> sleep at like what half eleven, <clears throat> and then I don't get any notifications <clears throat> until I wake up in the morning. I've got one for work between like the hours of like nine and fa- nine and six, I think it is. <clears throat> so then like it'll just change my home screen to like ho- to be like work focused instead of like messenger etc what on your phone yeah yeah um wow. and it, it's it's well. it's good for like breaking up your life a little bit yeah. and like so especially if you work from home like yeah. you don't you don't so get that switch anymore hard. yeah but yeah, like that's six true. O- that six o'clock i see a little notification that tells me my, my mode's switch and i'm like fuck i'm done like yeah. right personal time yeah, now that's good See, that, that is an issue like i've just forgot what i'm gonna fucking say <laughs> it literally has a word fucking saying it yeah. I'd, I, do I, I, gen, I genuinely recommend setting up different different uh, focus zones on iPhone. It's uh, it's helped me out a lot. Very good, mm, very nice. Right, well, I think we shall call that a day because we are currently at one hour and forty seven minutes. And my wow. and my parking is one minute over. Is it? Shit. Yeah. Oh shit! We've actually got a few more questions. <laughs> 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 But oh, thank you everyone for coming and listening, um, whichever one you did. Uh, <laughs> if you're out on... <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I actually Ho- had a really yeah, good time. Yeah. I, I hope that you was... enjoyed getting to know us. Getting to know all about yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah, anything... Check out your colour palette on the link below. <laughs> <laughs> anything for the people out there, the 10 people watching this? For the 10 people that are watching... Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, please. Instagram, please. Twitter. Reddit. Reddit. God, you're all wetties. Do you know what? It's just just look at the description. Yeah. Hey, that's easy. That'll do. The description says leave a comment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anything else anyone wants to say? Uh, Jake, do you fancy getting a subway? No. No, he doesn't because I'm Did walking you around to your house. Are you actually? Yeah, I'm coming all around. All right, for well, night. I'm getting a subway first. Like, is it one not way? <laughs> it's a bit of a diversion. <laughs> <laughs> what about one in train station? Is that still there? No. no Does this need to be on the podcast? Can we no, take? You're right. Can we, yeah. <laughs> sorry, I'm making you listen to this shit. Uh, can we take this offline? We can do. Uh, have a lovely afternoon, evening, or morning, whichever and all it's the rest be. of your day. Yeah. Enjoy yourself. Ooh. What? Ooh. What? Just to keep everyone updated, what we're going to try to do, guys, is have the audio Folks. out on Wednesdays. And the video's out on Thursdays. So if you want to listen to this... A day early. Day yeah, early. if you want to get well, in listen. a day early, go and, on... And then watch us the day after. Yeah, because if you don't, again. Like, like, we're going we're gonna to be fucked. Like, you know, just do the things. Do it. I don't do like the it. Things. I don't do like things. saying it, because I never fucking do it. We're charging the trap pad with a MacBook charger. <laughs> <ladies and gentlemen. laughs> High power, baby. Bye. Goodbye. Bye, Bye everyone. Oh, hang on, what the fuck am I doing here? There we go.